Uh, oh, gosh. Voice crack literally on the first word. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everybody. How's everyone doing today? Hope you had a lovely weekend. And welcome to a surprise Monday night stream. I didn't post the stream schedule like I usually do, or like I usually have on Sundays, partially because I wasn't sure exactly when I would have the, the time to stream this week, since I'm getting ready to, to go traveling a little later in the week. Um, and partially because I'm just moving away from the from like the concrete sort of stream schedule method more and more. I'm, there, there may still be weeks where I have a stream schedule, but sometimes I'll probably do more impromptu streams like this. Just, uh, just, just for, just for the heck of it. If you know, if I'm feeling, if I'm feeling all right, if I'm feeling up to it, then I think it's, uh, I think it's just, you know, a good time to stream. I was feeling ready to stream. I was excited. I was chomping at the bit to keep on working on the master angler prep. There's, there's a few things I have to, I have to share with you. And then we'll keep working on, uh, I have I have a list of things that I want to start working on or that I have to keep an eye out for today. Mostly just fish and stuff and like sources of them, like, because I need certain fish still for the targeted fish bait. But am I trying to make perfection in one year? That is not me, at least not yet. <laughs> How would I feel if Midnight Jellies existed? What, like in real life? Or if like they were a fish that I had to catch in Stardew Valley? Either way, I'm here for it. I am certainly here for it. Hope everyone's doing okay. Oh geez, hope you hope you're doing alright there, Cass. Yeah, definitely worth definitely worth checking, yeah. Yeah, and hope any hope anyone who was uh watching or had the opportunity to watch enjoyed the eclipse today. We weren't in the like in the direct path of the eclipse, but there was I think a moment where we could watch it, and my my mom made like a little one of those like little like pinhole things, you know, that I don't fully know really how they work, <laughs> and we and we watched the eclipse through that thing, so that was kind of neat. It was a fun time, but it, I didn't really see the the majority of it or have like an eclipse party or anything like that. So, but pretty neat, pretty neat all things told, you know, Sol solar eclipse does not come around all that often. Most of your family got to see it better than you did. That's fair. I watched a little bit of like I think it was like NASA's live stream of it, and that was probably the the best the best viewing experience for it that I had. Obviously, it doesn't you know beat being able to experience it in vivo, even though you're not like you, you don't look at the act you don't actually don't look at the sun. But <laughs> either way, I digress. It was a it was an interesting day for sure. Hopefully nothing strange going on with all these cos with these cosmological events. Hopefully not stirring up any paranoia or conspiracies or anything like that. We'll see. We'll see if it affects our luck today. I don't know. Playing Stardew Valley on an eclipse day. That's that's a bold thing to do. <laughs> um, what was I gonna do? Oh, I have to double check real quick because I did have my cheating mods on. I gotta make sure I turn those off. There we go. Just while I'm thinking about it. At any rate, 97% Eclipse, that's pretty, that's pretty nuts. Hey there, Museum Station Danny and Wooly Socks and Blossom. And anyone who might, uh, who might be able to make it out to this stream because it's later in the day when I usually stream earlier in the day. So, so happy, hopefully, hopefully this is good for, for some of your time zones out there. <laughs> Wait, how do I turn off mods? Uh, I mean, there are mod managers you can use. I just, like, go into the folder and, like, delete them. But my, my setup for mods is kind of janky. I would not recommend it. I'd recommend getting, like, one of the dedicated mod managers that you can get for Stardew. But that's neither here nor there. Um, I don't have any Poke Doku for you, for you today, unfortunately, because I wasn't sure if I was going to stream today, so I actually already did the Poke Doku. Um, and the and the daily puff fertile, but we can still do puff fertile because puff fertile has a random option, so I can I can just pop over there and just you know start things off right with the tradition. <laughs> and hey, Bex, thank you for being a member for 19 months at the electron level, by the way, closing it in that big two zero. Very much appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Woolen feet sees a moonlight jelly. 
I have a feeling that, I mean, if you're, if you're, if any, if anyone's going to see a rare green moonlight jelly, it's going to be today, right? With the eclipse. Everything, everything weird happens during an eclipse. <laughs> All right. I digress. How about we do a quick puff hurdle? Quick puff hurdle. Not the daily, like I was saying. If you're curious, though, the daily was an ice pip. I got it in three. There you go. There's that. Um, but let's do a random one, just, you know, just to get the, get the gears oiled up. This could be, it could be like a bullhead. It was slightly off from what I would expect from a bullhead, but we'll at least try it, since it was the first thing that came to mind. Wow, okay. <laughs> Literally everything yellow. So, it's available, I think bullhead is all season, all weather. It's only available in the mountain lake, right? And it's all the time. So this is a fish that's available in the mountain lake during certain specific weather only. Not every season, and not all day. Are you a rainbow trout? It's just that easy. <laughs> it's just that easy. We take those. The The weather is the one that keep, that tipped me off. There's not that many weather-dependent fish that you can catch in the, in the mountain lake, as far as I remember. The rainbow trout you can only catch during the sun, so... Incoherent game or welcome on in. We start we're starting off with a little puff fertile. The daily fish guessing game for Stardew Valley. <laughs> As we are wont to do. Yeah, weather weather when you get yellow weather like that on a fish that's like all all weather, that's a pretty big clue. Because it has to be either rainy or sunny weather at, at that point. I'm trying to think, like, are there even any rainy day fish that you can catch in the mountain lake? I don't think you can catch catfish there. You can't catch... I mean, you can catch the legend, I guess, but that was definitely not the legend, so... Either way. Hoorah. Alright. Let's get down to business to defeat the fish. Did they send me... Uh... Sonar bobbers when I asked for dress spinners? I don't know, man. Let's just get into it, shall we? <laughs> I think the only not all season ones are the Legend, Sturgeon, Rainbow Trout, and the Midnight Carp. Uh, I don't. Is, is Largemouth Bass every season? It might be, actually. I'm trying to, I always forget about the Largemouth Bass or, like, about its conditions and everything. All right. So I'm actually going to start this, uh, this stream with not going to Fishy Farm, actually. I'm going to be going to a different farm to show you the results of an experiment I was doing. An experiment that's technically only tangentially relevant to our Master Angler preparation, but I wanted to show it off just because I don't know if I'm going to make a video or anything about it yet, but I I mean, I've, I have the data here. I feel like I should share it, and then if I make it into a video a little later down the line, great. If not, then, you know, at least, at least it's out there in the world and people know about this because... Nobody is talking about the pan, dude. Last stream, I was experimenting a lot with the Iridium pan, specifically with the Fisher enchantment, but that kind of got the, the gears in my brain going, thinking like, okay, maybe it's not the best as far as like the Fisher enchantment goes, at least not for the Master Angler challenge, because I don't think there's any fish that we can catch with the pan, because I believe it is bait, it is like the fish you can get with the Fisher enchantment are locked by the fish tutorial and as far as i can tell i, I actually didn't ask blade about this yet but uh as far as i can tell the fish tutorial is kind of locked in now like you can't get actually break the fishing tutorial without um catching a real fish and i think the fish you can catch with the tutorial are a lot more like specific now specific to those like early game fish so either way that's neither here nor there because what I actually want, what I what I originally went in over the weekend trying to do test for is like, okay, well, I still need to go panning to try and get some lucky rings and stuff. So I took the opportunity to like test like panning as a whole sort of. And what I did is I I set up a farm where I had like max daily luck and I had luck buffs for food and all that stuff. And just because luck pretty heavily affects panning. And I went in and I did seven days in a row, seven days straight with all those luck buffs and everything of just panning to see like, how good is panning now actually? Like if you have like an Iridium pan, the highest level of pan, if you have 
a good enchantment on it, which I put the generous enchantment on it to get like more loot. I think it has a chance for double loot on certain things. What sort of what sort of thing what sort of like loot are you looking at? So I just want to show real quick the like the results of that experiment because it's kind of like staggering, I'm not gonna lie. So it's it's a little crazy right now <laughs> is is the thing so let me bring you on in oh i also should preface this um i think my game sound might be like too loud it might be too loud it might be too quiet i think i messed with it in obs and i don't remember the actual volume it was set to previously so let me know if it's too loud too quiet like as far as like you know right now the only in-game sound is the rain i think um but let me know if it's if it seems off for any reason Either way. So yeah, this is welcome to Empirical Farm. This is Penelope. This is my character where I like to test all these various things. Um, put your guesses in chat now, by the way. I did I did seven days of panning with high luck, including like two lucky rings. How many my earnings are broken? Yeah, a little bit. Just a little bit. Um Take a guess how many lucky rings I managed to find in those in those seven days of panning. Take a guess. I've got all my loot in in this assortment of chests up here. I wasn't sure how many I'd need, so I just, like, set up a, a decent number of big chests. Oxial stream suddenly. 27, 15, 1. So, well, before we go into any anything like that, um, this is what I got from seven days of panning with, the, with all these luck buffs active, and it's kind of bonkers. I got almost 600 iridium ore. I got over 700 coal. I got 154 diamonds, 455 Omni Geodes, <laughs> like, and that's not even, like, I mean, and then all this other stuff, obviously, 47 mystery boxes. It's a little, it's a little wild. Yeah, panning is a little busted. I actually made a spreadsheet breaking down, like, the, like, profits per day you can kind of expect off of this stuff. Six stones. I <laughs> know, six stones! Six stones! I think that's actually from just breaking rocks at the dig site. Pay no mind to the six stone. <laughs> um, I'm trying to make, make justice to panning. I actually think if you have a good setup for it, if you have, like, these luck buffs, if you have uh, a good luck day and, like, a high-quality pan like this, it's it's kind of a decent alternative, at least resource-wise, to Skull Cavern at this point. Um, so, like, if you're not good at Skull Cavern, or you just, like, don't care for it that much, then this is maybe a possible alternative for you. But this is actually just scratching the surface, because the other, the other side of the coin, the other benefits you get with panning are actually, you can get a lot of, like, clothing and furniture and stuff from panning now, which is kind of weird. Um, which I have, you can see right here. These are all, like, the different shirts and hats and pieces of, 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 fur of furniture that I got from panning. <laughs> Which I, th I think, like, looking at all these, it's stuff that you would normally be able to tailor. So it's, like, it's things that you could normally tailor. You just kind of get them, like, randomly, from what I can tell. It, it doesn't seem like there's any rhyme or reason. I didn't even get that many duplicates of things. It's pretty cool, right? I got two of these radioactive goggles. 1.6 kind of killed tailoring. I don't think they added tailored, like, new clothing for, like, a lot of the items in 1.6, did, did they? It's very neat, though, yeah. So this is, like, and I got, like, a decent amount of furniture. The furniture doesn't matter as much, because this is all furniture you could get from the furniture catalog anyway. Um, so if you have that, then then you're probably not too concerned about this. But the clothing is actually, like, pretty neat, honestly. Let me pop over to this chest. This is the overflow chest for even more clothing. I got two star helmets. I got two fashion hats. There's some, there's some good hats to be had. There are some good hats to be had. And as you can see, amidst all the loot, I also, I mean, for, this, for those, those paying attention, unfortunately, I did not even get, like, one lucky ring out of all this. There's nothing, there's nothing to be had here. Except, just kidding, I actually found 57 lucky rings. Um, <laughs> which is more than I expected, I think, to say the least. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's <laughs> you know I think the I think the chance of lucky rings was was buffed in 1.6 is what I'm gonna say. Keep in mind this was with like a high qual high luck day like max luck day. I had uh I had cheese seasoned lucky lunches and ginger ale plus I had two lucky rings on already. But still like. <laughs> 
still I have enough to equip on my toes. I have enough for every single every single digit and then some. It's pretty nutty. Yeah, like this is crazy. I I honestly wish that Lucky Rings sold for more cuz you can sell them at the uh, Adventurers Guild but only for 100 gold each. So it's not like a it's not big money, but it does I mean all, if you sold all these it's like five that's like 5000 gold. <laughs> so it's pretty hype. It's pretty hype honestly. Um, and like I said, I did set up a spreadsheet to show, like, my total earnings and just break down, just to give you, you know, a ma the mathematical data of just how good panning could be. By the way, this, I mean, the original experiment was to see how likely we are to, like, be able to get lucky rings and stuff out of panning now, and I think I'm not gonna have to worry about that. I think I'll be able to get my lucky rings for the Master Angler Challenge pretty easily. Um, but let me quickly, quickly show you my spreadsheet. Just, just to give you a, a solid breakdown here. Now add the luck buff from the Statue of Blessing. That's the thing. I could have gone for even higher luck if I wanted to. I just didn't want to. All right, I'm gonna bring you in here. This is the the spreadsheet. I think I can probably zoom in a little bit on this. Um. Never mind. I don't seem to be able to zoom. Hopefully that's okay. <laughs> I don't know why I can't zoom. Normally you can zoom in on these, maybe not on spreadsheets. Maybe maybe spreadsheets are kind of locked to zooming. Either way, this was the this was the quantity. So I have it in different tabs here of the approximate profit you could get. Um, at the top where it says 100. percent Oh wait, maybe you're right. 150. There we go. That's a little better. That's a little better. Yo, thank you for that. Thank you for that, Sarah. Okay. Um. So yeah, you can see I have I have it separated based on like various different circumstances here. If you were just to sell everything, if I well from this this experiment, this is only across seven days, so it's not necessarily statistically significant, but hopefully it's a decent approximation. If I had just sold like straight up sold everything across the seven days of panning that I did, I would have gotten around two hundred fifty thousand gold, which is thirty five thousand gold per day just from panning, which is not bad, but it's not gonna break the doors down off of like old money makers or anything. If you factor in the gemologist profession, because you do get a lot of uh, gems like diamonds and rubies and things, that, that goes up to 41,879 gold per day, which is pretty hype. And if you instead went with blacksmith and you like processed all of the ore here, which you could easily do with the 711 coal that you get, um, and you process this all, all into bars and sold that, You'd be raking in about fifty-five or fifty-six thousand gold per day, which is pretty, which is pretty cool. I know this is not supposed to be the panning stream, but like here we are. <laughs> um, so yeah, fifty-six thousand gold per day from panning, and then if you go the extra mile, and I've got this one, Clint plus gemologist. So that's if you break open all these like Clint things, all these things from Clint, uh, like artifact troves, your omni geodes, your mystery boxes, and all that stuff, because normally you don't get any money for those, but if you break them open at Clint and sell all that stuff, based on the averages, um, yeah, no, this is 50, 56,000 per day. I made 391,348 gold, like if you did it this way, per week. So almost 400,000 gold from just the blacksmith profession and like processing all this stuff. And then I use the uh, average values of like what Omni Geodes and Artifact Troves are worth um, from the wiki here. So I don't know how reliable it is. I, there, there is no value for the gold coconut listed on the wiki. Um, so I just left that at zero, which is probably fine because there's, there's only six of them that I got. So it's not really that significant anyway. Um, so if you opened everything, like all the Omni Geodes and all the Artifact Troves and stuff, also factoring in if you have like the Treasure Appraisal Guide, which like triples the art value of all artifacts. Um, then you'd be getting, with the with the gemologist profession, you'd be getting about 53,000 per day if you just sold all that stuff. Um, I should also note mystery boxes here also don't have, a, also don't have a value on the wiki, like an average value of their price per, on the wiki. Um, but since there were enough of them here, I wanted to find a number for that. So I spent a couple hours opening 2000 mystery boxes and aggregating the average value of each one. So it's, this one's a little bit iffy, but hopefully it's somewhere in the right range there. <laughs> That's its own discussion. Don't worry about that. If you went blacksmith instead, you would be getting this is the highest value you'd get if you like processed everything to metal bars and sold all the stuff from geodes and artifact troves and everything from Clint. You'd be getting about 65,000 gold per day. 
I made I made four hundred and fifty six thousand nine hundred twenty three point four gold on average from 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 all that stuff. So <laughs> diamonds doing the heavy lifting. Diamonds are no joke. The iridium bars with the black blacksmith profession obviously also make a pretty killer difference. So uh, so yeah. Like I said, I might make this into a video or something of some kind with all these numbers that I've got here eventually, but for now, I just wanted to put it out there. If you're looking for a decent, like, you know, low stakes, casual kind of alternative to to Skull Cavern to get these resources and to get, like, money and stuff, potentially, panning's not terrible. Panning's actually pretty good now, especially if this is all panning in the dig site with, like, really high luck. But you're, I mean, if you're going to go to Skull Cavern, it's going to be on a good luck day anyway. So if you just substitute that and go panning instead, could be, could be raking it in. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. At any rate, that is, that's it for the panning tangent here. Let's actually go back and start doing what we're supposed to be doing here. <laughs> panning feels like gambling now. What enchant did I use for this? I used the Generous enchantment, since that seems like the most, uh, the one that would yield the highest profits. Because there's the, there's Generous, Fisher, Reaching, and there's a fourth one, I think, but I don't remember what it is for, oh, it's, um, Archaeologist or something like that. To get you more artifacts and things. Doing any test runs today? We probably won't be doing any actual, like, test runs of fishing. We're just going to be doing more, like, preparatory work. Enchanted pan? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Okay, let me pop on out of here. Pop on out of Empirical Farm. We'll head on over to Fishy Farm. Yeah, if you're not trying for fish, which you need, you'd obviously need the Fisher enchantment for that one, then Generous is the way to go with your pan, for sure. 100 times out of 100. Abby Ann, welcome on in. Good to see you. And hey, Moth's Music Box. Thank you for, for the $5 super chat, by the way. You've been watching the Price of Perfection VODs and just made it to VOD64. Yo, hype. I hope you're enjoying those. Thank you, thank you for the support and for dropping on in and for, for watching the VODs. It, it means a lot. Thank you so much. Kind of crazy how long it would take to get a stack of legends, though. Yeah, I, I, I you know, I don't envy Algo if he's set, setting up to do that. I don't know. I don't know what his what the situation is with the 999 farm, but... I'll have, to, I'll have to watch that VOD later, because I know he did go over all the spreadsheets and stuff. Either way, what the heck happened? I had quite the party at the end of last stream. By the, by the looks of this, like, crazy inventory, man. I remember, I mean, I was in Skull Cavern, and I just didn't have time to, like, put away everything at the end of the day. Yo, we got our frog as well! Honestly, the biggest win so far is getting this lovely, beautiful, adorable frog. And I actually decided on a name... I thought, I thought about it over the weekend. I was like, what's the best name for this frog? I'm going to call this frog... I'm calling him Mallow. I'm calling him Mallow in honor of Super Mario RPG. Mallow, the the tadpole who never was. He's finally He finally gets to live out his dream as, this, as our little frog friend here. I just like it. It's also kind of like a play on Marshmallow, because, like, frogs from the, frog is from the marsh. I don't know, I just like it. I just I just th I thought about that name and I was like, you know what that fits. You can be Mallow. So so welcome Mallow to the Mallow is a plant that grows in marshes. Even better. Even better then. Um do I need any of this stuff? I don't really need. I guess I can give Haley a pink cake wherever she might be. She's probably up taking pictures if I remember right. Yeah, I like Mallow. It's just a fun it's just a fun name. It's just fun to say. Um, yeah, I don't really need any of this stuff, best I can tell. So those, I actually am going to keep the mystery boxes, because you can get, um, you can get magic rock candy out of mystery boxes. It's not common, but it is, uh, it, you can also get prismatic shards. Like I said, I did run an experiment where I opened 2,000 mystery boxes to see, like, kind of, like, roughly what the odds might be. Um, 2,000 is not necessarily a statistically relevant sample size, but out of those 2,000, um, well, you know what, say goat cheese, how about pink cake instead? There you go, enjoy. Take, take a guess, out of the 2,000 mystery boxes that I opened, how many prismatic shards do you think I got? I like playing the guessing game, it's, it's more fun that way. 
how many prismatic shards? How many prizzy rizzies out of a out of two thousand mystery boxes? Seventy-two, five, one, twelve, twenty-something, eighteen, fifty-nine, sixteen. That'd be a lot, man. Um, I got ten. I got ten prismatic shards out of two thousand mystery boxes, which feels like it's on the high side. That's like a zero point five percent rate for prismatic shards. Which is not high, but it feels like higher than it should be for for a mystery box. So, I don't know. Maybe mystery boxes really are just that like that cracked. Um, we'll start piling them up in here anyway, alongside our other geodes. I'm gonna go put down this auto petter in in here just for just for the fun of it. We already have an auto petter going in here, but double the pets, double the fun. So close with twelve. No one quite guessed exactly ten, but. But people were close, for sure. Enjoy the lurk them there, funny fox. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing an even bigger experiment. I, I originally wanted to do, like, 10,000 mystery boxes, but that would have just taken too long. Okay, what is our daily luck looking like today as well? What are we looking at here? And with the daily luck, it's neutral daily luck, so not really interested in going... Um, either Panning or Skull Caverns thing. We might go next, on our next lucky day, I might actually just go to Skull Caverns, or not Skull Caverns, but I, I might go Panning instead, just to to try and get those lucky rings. And like I said, it is kind of a decent alternative to Skull Cavern now, so. Hold on, I think my music volume is a little louder than it normally is. There we go, let me turn that down just a, just a smidge, just a morsel. The Celeste music, I do love the Celeste music as well, but it does get it does get a little loud. Yo, thank you for the bone fragments, Timby. Do I need to change my panning perk? If I want to get the maximum profit from uh from the pan or the maximum chance at like at uh at like a lot of resources, then yeah, I would want to go for generous over. I would want to go for generous over Fisher that I have right now, but. I'm going to leave it as Fisher, just just on the off chance that I'm wrong about the fishing tutorial thing. Plus, it, it does cost the Prismatic Shard to change the enchantment, so... And I don't think I actually even have any Prismatic Shards right now. Mochi. Yeah, we got to work on our friendship with Mochi as well, our new pet kitty. Got to build that up with her, because uh, she also has the chance to give fishes. Which, I, may, I made a list on the side here of all the fish that we currently need for our... I need three coral for that. I can do that. All the fish that we currently need for um, bait purposes and where we can get them. So I still need... I mean, it's kind of... I still I still need the octopus, tilapia, chub, halibut, wood skip, lava eel, and stonefish bait. And a lot of that can be gotten via the traveling cart. A lot of it can be gotten by a willy or crobus. There's, there's options for that. Those are the ones that I can have that I can access through, like, the shopkeepers and stuff. There are other ones I would like, like the blue discus and the stingray and, and the lionfish and all that stuff, but I don't know if I can actually get them or not. Did I ever find out if walking on water worked in 1.5? I did not test that, but it still works in 1.6 as far as I know. There hasn't been an update yet, so... <laughs> we take those Ws. Fill water bowl, good call. I do need. I should swap out my my inventory right now because I don't need my skull cavern set up just just this second. Um, let's grab a. Let's grab the axe. Let's grab the hoe. Grab the watering can. Grab the iridium pan as well. Pop that down here just for just so I have it handy. I have it pandy. Uh, I'm gonna move these mystery boxes over to here. Consolidate them all. Put these in as well. All right, let's go. Let's go give. We'll go give our pets some water. Am I doing the 1.6 Master Angler challenge on the same farm? I am. Yeah, this is the this is the same farm we did the original challenge on. So, for anyone who might be wondering, all right, Willie is not at his shop today, so I can't check his. I can't check his place for um, for bait. I don't know if I don't remember where my what my crop situation on Ginger Island was looking at was looking like right now. I know we're still growing star fruit over there for mastery experience purposes. Need a cave care for the salad I'm making. 
We'll probably do that, actually. I don't think we need to. I mean, there are some rewards we could get from, like, the prize machine. Um, that could be helpful. But not for, like, a long time in the prize machine. Like, there's a magic rock candy you can get from the prize machine, but it's not until you get, like, redeem, like, 22 prize tickets or something like that. Um, what was I looking for here? I wanted to bring something with me. You know, let's open these mystery boxes. Why not? Clint should be in today. I should be checking for Moss as well. Grab this cave care. Thank you. But the one thing I actually wanted to remember here... Well, I wanted to remember that as, for sure, but so thank you. But I also wanted to remember to do this. Boop, boop, boop. Happy little super cucumbers. Lesbian, thank you for being a member for 15 months at the Electron level, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Total Solar Eclipse was the coolest thing you've ever seen. Yo, did you actually get to see it, like, in vivo, like, in person? That's so cool. I'm so jealous, honestly. Big jealousness. Thank you for sharing the your generosity and support, by the way. Uh, I'm not selling you the cave carrot. I'm giving you the cave carrot. There you go. That's more like it. Easy peasy. 90 seconds of totality where you are. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't even imagine. That'd be so cool to see in person. What's the blue thing following me? This is Mallow. He's my pet frog. And I love him dearly. He's here for moral support. Alright, I would like to process these on the off chance we get a prismatic shard or magic rock candy out of it. You never know. Odds aren't necessarily in our favor, but they are, uh... They do exist. You get a strange amount of lobster bisque out of <laughs> these mystery boxes as well, by the way. I opened 2,000 mystery boxes, and I got... I, I'm telling you, man, I got, like, 25 lobster bisque. I don't know why, but... <laughs> You get a lot of, like, cooked dishes. I thought it was, like, random what cooked dishes you get, but it seems like there's, like, a tendency towards ones that give you fishing buffs for some reason. Which is fine, I guess, but... Based frog pet? Absolutely. Apparently something I learned as well is you can actually put the frog egg trinket into a fish tank, and the frog will just, like, chill in there, which is pretty cool. You don't have to have them following you around at all times. I, I will for now, unless I have a good reason to get another trinket, but... Um, but for now, I'm, I'm just doing fine there. Get some more carrot seeds here. Jungle tank? I believe... Oh, the, oh, our star fruit is ready today. Let's go. I believe it actually works in either the jungle tank or the fish tank, from what it, from what it said on the wiki at any rate. Yeah, I'm just going to sell all this, like, random stuff I got, because I don't really need it. Uh, Farm Warp Totem, we don't... Nah, no, I don't need that. I have the Return Scepter. What am I thinking? Alright, here we go. Let's see... Let's see how good this is for us. I'm starting at roughly 5,700 experience to, for my mastery. Let's go nuts with this Starfruit here. I need to buy more Starfruit seeds to, to fill up this field, if I'm going to keep going with this. I technically don't need any more mastery past, like, the third level of mastery. But maybe we just go for broke, I don't know. Iridium Scythe is hype. I'm still not over the Iridium Scythe that this is actually a thing you can do in unmodded vanilla Stardew Valley now. This is incredible. There we go. So we went from 5,700 experience to 16,600. So roughly, what is that? what would that be, like 11,000-ish experience from that? Still got still got some some work to do to get our next mastery level, but that is hype. Um I have two starfruit seeds here. I can go buy like another two hundred odd whatever I need to in order to actually did I I sold that deluxe speed grow. It's still it's gone, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Do I have access to I need one gold walnut for this. I could actually go fish up that gold walnut from, like, the one pond, now that I know that it won't break the fishing tutorial. But I don't have my... I don't have my fishing... My fishing rod on me right now. I do just have the return scepter anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Is there a panning spot? I saw... I saw it. Yeah, there's a panning spot over here. Boom. There's a sun, another sunfish, baby. <laughs> another sunfish for the books. 
I don't need all the masteries, but do I want them? I mean, kind of. I am, I'm like, it's called the Master Angler Challenge. Would it, could I truly call myself a Master Angler if I wasn't Master of everything, including angling? Break the muscle. Is, is there... Actually, I don't know if I've gotten all the, all the gold walnuts from these. It would just feel nice to just get the... Uh, to get the farm obelisk, even if I don't specifically need it. This is the previous challenge, but with the new jellies and the goby, yes. And I'm also going to be working in the extended family fish from the from the quest that you get at the walnut room. Just for just for kicks, you know? Why not? <laughs> the mastery angler challenge? Couldn't have put it better myself. Alright, let's go to the desert. Buy some starfruit seeds and we'll make it make it back. Uh, yeah, it's still, it's still time of the day. I don't, I don't have a desert to or desert obelisk. I do have desert warp totems, but Pam's literally right here. I thought I was going to break the tutorial with the extended family. Uh, we tested it last stream. It doesn't seem like you can get, like you can break the tutorial with the extended family or with any legendary fish for that matter. Seems like we are... Just kind of kind of stuck with the fish tutorial catching basic fish, which is fine. I, I think probably the best case scenario is honestly to maybe break it with like a crab pot. That way I can just start catching like all the fish. But we'll see. Coat stand, clothesline, all the fun little furniture here. All right, I'm going to buy 250 starfruit seeds. Cover my bases. Why do I need the farm totem if I got the warp scepter? It's honestly, it's honestly a great question. Just for completeness' sake, is is, is my mind. Ooh. Nine iridium ore. Today's not even. I'm not even like boosting my luck. I guess I do have the spicy eel on the go. How do you buy 25 at a time? You hold. I believe it's Control and Shift. And you buy. And you buy. And you click it. There's a way now, there's some key combination that lets you try to buy 999 at a time now, but it's like kind of an obscure combination, so I don't fully remember it. I think it's obscure by design so that you don't accidentally try and do it. We are planning on using the Statue of Blessing. In fact, farming mastery was the first, uh, was the first bit of mastery that I got for that specific reason. All right, I'm going to go into the greenhouse. I actually think our starfruit wine should be done. Oh, starfruit wine. I mean, I get that it's still valuable, but it doesn't look as tasty as it used to in the purple bottle. The purple bo color was so nice on the wine. And don't get me wrong, I like that they all have their own distinct color now, but honestly, I it, I feel like this wine should look more gold. Should should be slightly more yellow hue. This is kind of almost like just a little it feels too brown. Regardless of the color, it's worth the same amount of worth the same amount in the shipping bin, so <laughs> we'll take it. Um, go ahead and pop fill these up again just for just for kicks. Ancient fruit wine is light pretty blue. I could picture that, yeah, that'd be nice. Make wine out of grapes for purple bottles. It's probably about the only way to get purple wine now, isn't it? Well I guess wild plum wine maybe. Starfruit wine looks so wrong, but it feels so right when you sell it. Get some of this debris out of here. Don't need this tarnishing my my lovely farm. You had no idea they changed the colors for the wine. I'm gonna sell all these other starfruit just just to get the money for it right now. It's one of the more minor changes to 1.6, but it's one of the ones that you're gonna notice pretty pretty immediately. If you're making wine and stuff. Alright, I need to get back to the island. Willy is closed, but I should have some island warp totems. I only have three. Should be fine. You don't need that many for the actual challenge. I'll probably go and craft more. If I, uh... If I do feel like I'm gonna need more, but... For now, it's fine. Oh, shoot. I forgot that this one spot here... I don't have any extra... Speed grow, do I? <laughs> no extra deluxe speed grow? Just kicking around, nothing, nowhere? 
What's the frog's name? The fro our frog's name is Mallow. Alright, this is our lucky starfruit spot. Because I don't know if I'm going to come back and, and top that up with, with Deluxe Speed Grow. Do I actually need to craft Deluxe Speed Grow? Um, oak resin and, a, and five bone fragments. I might have the bone fragments in this chest here, but I definitely don't have the oak resin, I'm pretty sure. Our frog is Mallow of the Marsh Variety. Is starfruit wine a, we starfruit wine a real thing? Does it taste good? I mean, the vast majority of wine in real life is made with grapes. There are other types of wine, but I don't know if starfruit is among those types. My farm has a ton of resin? No, it probably does, yes, but, like, that means I have to go back to the farm, I have to get the Deluxe Speed Grow, or craft it, and then I have to come back to Ginger Island. It's, it's like a whole big thing. Plus, I'd need to use another Island Warp Totem in order to facilitate that. Which, maybe I have, like, some extra Dragon Teeth kicking around? Um, I actually didn't have enough Starfruit Seeds to fill this out. I was literally one starfruit seed shy here. I should have just left the spa well enough alone, apparently. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. I guess I can plant an ancient seed if I wanted to. Too shy? Am I too shy? Oh, I am too shy. I always miss that spot over there for some reason. I don't know why. It's just a, it's just a blind spot for me. Yeah, we'll plant we'll plant a couple little ancient fruits in there. Just, just throw them in the mix. Why not? It's art. You wouldn't understand. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave that alone. It's not that big of a deal. I'll probably end up getting the mastery before I even come back for the star fruit, so I'm not too concerned about it. Not overly. I'm trying to think. Is there anything else I really need to be working on? I honestly think I'm going to... I would like to be able to sleep on Ginger Island and, like, check the luck here so that I can, like, use the use the dig site for panning next chance I get. But I don't have a TV here right now, so I think I'm going to head back home. We'll pick up a TV to bring to Ginger Island from the furniture catalog, which I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah. And then we'll uh, maybe set that up on Ginger Island later. Tell me about your day. It was very productive. Thank you. Thought you weren't able to use sprinklers on the island. You can use them on the island, just not on the beach farm. Alright, I think we are good to go. What was that achievement? <laughs> I honestly don't know. Was that, was that like a total earnings achievement? Monoculture. Oh, monoculture. I sold enough star fruit. There you go. <laughs> There you go. Monoculture achieved on the on the on the master angler farm. Maybe one day this farm will reach perfection. Fishy farm can be the perfect farm we all know it to be. We know it has the potential to be, but but I don't know if I'm ready to gear up for that just yet. Okay, let's have a look at our luck today. Queen of Sauce, hit me with it. Pizza. I already know how to cook pizza. Thanks for nothing. It's a decent, decent luck day today. It's not like max luck, so I don't know if it's worth going out of my way to to go panning or anything today. Do I have the recipe for ginger ale or anything like that? I don't have the recipe for ginger ale. I should go get that. That's from the Volcano Dwarf, right? Haley's spouse room is so cute. I never get over the cuteness with, with Haley, just like in general. I bought the recipes from Gus, did I? <laughs> I didn't buy oh maybe at this at the Star Drop Saloon. I must I must have, I guess. I think I bought I probably bought the triple shot espresso recipe there and then I just like bought all the rest of them while I was while I was in the area. That would be my my hunch. Volcano homie. Hey the volcano homie a little visit. I should turn on random bobber and willies. I think I've already done that, actually. I'll double check when I'm down there today, because I need to head down there for Ginger Island anyway. 
And to check his shop, but... Pop that away. Recipe from the Volcano Dwarf, I thought so. I, I, I also don't know if I have much in the way of ginger, to be real with you, so... But we'll, uh, we'll sort that out. When push comes to shove here. Okay, welcome. Going to the volcano. I don't need to go, like, that far through the volcano. Don't forget to bring a TV. Thank you. I absolutely would have forgotten. Um, but what I do need to remember here is I'm going to swap out my... Swap out that for that. And honestly, that's kind of fine. Oh, I do have 59 ginger right here. Okay. I think I had it for... Do you need to craft island warp totems? You do. Yeah, you do need ginger for that. That's probably why I had why I had some to spare there. All right. Television. I will grab something fancy. Floor TV, budget TV. We'll take the we'll take the plasma TV, why not? Nice big screen. I don't remember what you trade for the like island TV that you can get that you can get, but this will do just fine for now. If you can eat sap, why can't you drink squid ink? Now we're asking the real questions. Oh wait, hold on, there's a panning spot. Ah yes, my favorite panning spot. Just one second. One second, I just gotta get this panning spot, everybody. Give me one minute here. Thank you, there we go. Okay. Uh, da -da. There we go. A little bit of gold ore. Not too shabby. 30 tarot for the tropical TV. That's not too bad, actually. I might actually... Maybe I even have that. I don't remember if I grew any taro or not. <laughs> it's gonna throw off everyone who didn't see, uh... Who didn't see last stream, that's for sure. <laughs> it's so good. What do you need again? You need a smoked bream and five snails. I can get the bream with my pan, technically, and the snails could come from... There are other sources we can get them from, like the uh, like the traveling cart halibut. I think I actually need that. Uh, I do need halibut. I need halibut bait. There you go. Deluxe speed grow. I guess I'll buy one. I can still put it on the spot. Yeah, we take those. Let me go ahead and actually cross off the the halibut. Halibut no longer needed. That's one of the one fish bait down like, five to go or something like that. That panning spot is weirdly consistent. I don't know why. Yeah, it's the, it, that's the only reason I was able to even discover that you can, like, that that glitch happens was because of that one panning spot. It's so random. Haley por Portrait for Ginger Island honestly would have been a cracked idea. Okay, let me throw this halibut in the bait maker for the halibut. Oops, I was trying to talk to Haley and then I just like sat in a chair. So relatable. Yeah, the star drop could trigger perfection, but not the fishing itself. Then we went over that on the on the previous stream. Which is unfortunate. It would, it would be cool to get perfection at the same time that I catch the final fish, but there's just no way to make it happen. Unless, I guess, we, like, buy up to, like, enough perfection that, like, catching that fish would push us to 100% perfection. That's one way you could do it, like, buy those perfection waivers. But that's getting almost too cute with it. Okay, let's check the bobbers. We are on random. What do you got? Largemouth bass bait? Not needed. Thank you, though. Okay. Off we go. Let me go ahead and plant... Well, I'll put, the, I'll put the deluxe speed grow down, we'll put the TV down, and we'll be in good shape. I'll even do a little panning while I'm here. Boom. Pretty good, actually. Pretty good haul. We're looking for lucky rings is the main thing we're looking for out of panning now. Which should hopefully come relatively easily. I'll put the TV... I mean, I should move, like, the bed down here, realistically. Put the TV maybe, like... The feng shui is, like, all off here. 
sneaky little thing there. Wait, hold on, do like that. Can I put down the rug and then the TV? Actually, I kind of like the rug there a little bit. That works, that's fine. All right. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to the moss just so I don't forget to bring it home later. And let's go grab that recipe, shall we? And whatever else we might be able to find in the volcano. I can't think of too much that would be valuable there. I don't think you can get, like, prismatic shards or anything in the volcano, except as, like, possibly a random drop. But if that's what we're relying on, then it's probably not worth it. Actually, I guess I can get dragon's teeth to craft more, uh... To craft more warp totems. Shouldn't be slouching on that. I forgot, I forgot Mallow was actually going to do something here, by the way, when he when he starts eating these guys. Oh, it's so good. I love this little frog, man. Does doing the event fishing, like, ice fishing, ice fishing count towards fish? It does not. I believe the new fishing events would count, because they're in those ones, you're actually catching the fish, like, outside of a festival setting, kind of. AKA like Squid Fest and Trout Derby. I'm pretty sure those count, but beyond that, no, I don't think so. Wonder if Mallow can eat la lava lurks? Only one way to find out. We just gotta get him close enough to one. Take some cinder shards as well. Couldn't hurt for our enchanting purposes in the future. I also don't remember. I don't think prismatic shards have a chance to drop from iridium nodes in the volcano, but I could be wrong. Is Squid Fest the platoon a Splatoon reference? I think anything with squids could be classified as a as a platoon rep reference if you squint hard enough, but maybe it actually is. I don't know. Is there an actual Squid Fest in in Splatoon? I'm not that familiar with Splatoon, to be honest with you. I was going to take that one down, but thanks for having my back, Mallow. Appreciate you. Mallow can't eat flying purple shots. That's the only exception. Flying purple shots. You mean like projectiles that, uh, that enemies shoot and stuff? Sneaky little gem node there. Flying purple shorts. Oh, I didn't... Did I Did I read that wrong? No. Okay. <laughs> Flying purple shorts. The haunted purple shorts. I mean, nothing can defeat the, the, the haunted purple shorts, I don't think. Feel, I feel like it's just immortal. It's been here since the dawn of the universe, and it will be here until the end of time, as, as we know it. Onto shorts are your favorite thing in this update. I don't blame you, honestly. The Diamond Hunter. I don't need that. Also, don't have a chance to drop a diamond. Nah, no, I can just go panning for diamonds these days. I'll buy the ginger ale recipe. Thank you. I will buy a pink bow, because it's cute. And I don't need another reason. Um, I guess we'll finish up the run through the volcano while we're here. I see a reason not to. We could get some more dragon teeth and stuff. How often does the frog eat monsters? I think it depends on the stats of your frog, because you can get, like, different colored frogs with different stats, and I think that determines, like, the frequency with which they are able to, or, like, how quickly they're able to digest the monster, for lack of a better term. Because he eats it, and then he's all chunky for a little while. Oh, lord, he chunky. And then, um... Once he's no longer chonky, then he's able to eat again. Cooldown of 12-ish seconds. Is that, like, the, the default for, like, the base, like, green frog? Or is that, um... Is that the upper end? Have I picked a hat for Tim Beeb yet? I have not, actually. I, I don't think Tim Beeb is currently wearing a hat. <laughs> Pink bow could be a contender. Oh, he... Oh, my gosh! <laughs> The lava lurk, man. Oh, no. Something felt so wrong about that. 
I don't necessarily want him to eat the lava lurks because I kind of want to get the dragon teeth out of it. You got a fairy. He was on the go, which is pretty great. You know what's a really cute little addition as well, by the way, to the to, to some of the trinkets is that um, because I was looking at like the wiki about them earlier, not earlier today, but just like earlier in the week, because I was kind of curious. And two of the trinkets, the frog egg and the um, the fairy box, you can give a frog egg to Sebastian, and it's a loved gift for Sebastian. And you can give the fairy box to Jas, and it's a loved gift for her. I just thought those were like cute little like cute little additions. So that's just fun. All right, you take that. Where is the second button here? I've already got the first button. Get Malatee another lava lurk. If if we happen to get the chance, I will absolutely endeavor to. Give your husband all the frogs. You got to keep one frog for yourself, I think, just as a uh, just as a nice little pet, in my personal opinion. But any spare frog eggs you happen to find, go nuts, go wild. Seb Sebastian the tadpole wrangler. We need to worry about the slimes actually, because they I'm wearing the slime charmer ring. One for you and eight for the tanks. Fair. Fair. You gotta you gotta account for the tanks as well. That is true. Alright. Mallow's a little busy digesting right now. That's fine. Should actually take some of these guys down. There we go. And as long as we're talking about all, like, the, the trinkets that give you, like, little familiars, I've, I've heard that the parrot is actually also really good. The parrot apparently gives you the chance to, like, get money on kills. And the chance actually gets pretty high once you have, like, enough. I think it's tracked off your total earnings is what I was hearing. And once you get, like, I think it's, like, what, five... Is it like 5 million total earnings or something like that? Or is it, it might be less than that. It might be like 500,000 or something or 2 million. Or it's, it's high enough that it's high, but... Ooh, a phoenix ring. Don't mind if I do. Then you get kill. Then you get money off like every... Like just about every kill from what I was understanding. If you stand still, the parrot will sit on your head. Oh, and I think the parrot egg, actually, which is, like, the trinket that gives you the parrot, I think that's a loved gift for Leo as well. That's that's another one I forgot about, but that's also very cute. All right. Didn't get anything too spectacular. The dragon tooth is nice. Um, otherwise, I think we're good to just head home here. We got the, the recipe that we were looking for. Do I have sugar just hanging out in here? I do, actually, so we're fine on that front. I got a pink bow. Pink bow for Mochi? That's pretty cute. I'm not, I mean, it's hard to tell. Well, I move the chair. She rocks the pink bow pretty well. I can't lie about that. We got to get a hat for Timbeeb, though. If we're giving one to Mochi, Timbeeb is, Timbeeb is overdue. <laughs> I, love, I love the pink and white color scheme there. It's so cute. Sleepy little kitty. Okay, for Timbeeb. Do I give Timbeeb the lucky bow in lieu of the fact that I'm wearing the pirate's hat? That might be the play, honestly. I kind of like that. All of, Every pet gets a bow. There you go. Timbeeb, wear it with pride. Make Mama proud. Just kidding, you've already made Mama proud. Garbage hat? <laughs> I wouldn't disrespect him like that. Alright, 51 Cinder Shards is actually not bad. Uh, I'm gonna... I thought I was storing Cinder Shards in there. Am I storing them somewhere else? Mystery Box can go... Here. I'm gonna consolidate everything as best I can. I've still got some cheese seasoning in there. And most loyal companion holding the most iconic accessory. Couldn't think of anything better. 
It's it's perfect. Can't ever get through the volcano that fast. I kind of have to like push myself to get through the volcano that fast, to be honest with you. It doesn't it doesn't come supernaturally to me. I've gotten better with the volcano and at skull caverns and that sort of thing in general, but it's just it's still not still not my forte. All right, I think we are good to go to sleep. Now, if only I could put a hat on Mallow. Nah, then we'd be cooking, dude. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? Did I already get Meow Mirror on this save file? I have not. But if I do, if I stumble across an ancient doll somehow, then I can't think of any better use for it. So, <laughs> so why the heck not? Paper hat can be cute. Is that a, uh, it's a, it's a prize from one of the festivals, I think, isn't it? Maybe from, uh, from Squid Fest? I don't know if I can get that. Decent luck day. Let me move my ginger that I have here. Look at this ginger that I just found. I'm gonna move it over here for ginger ale purposes. And maybe we do a little... Maybe we do a little panning today. Paper hat is achievement based. Oh, good to know. Squid Fest is the squid hat. Well, that, that just makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, maybe I go panning today. Try my hand at a lucky ring. It's a decent luck day. I can get ginger ale. Uh, I could even cheese season a ginger ale if I was really feeling, feeling spicy with it, but I don't know if I'm going to do that just yet. Um, don't forget to take care of your pets. Tim Deeb, you look amazing with that bow. Not gonna move the chair back. Oh, good point. <laughs> and we get ginger ale. We have the little, a little luck buff from the spicy eel. I don't think I'm able to cook lucky lunches right now. Not least of all because I don't have any blue jazz. Which I guess I could fix. I, I, could, I could probably get blue jazz, but I need, I need corn and stuff as well for the tortillas, right? Pop that away. Look at those. I guess I don't need the fried calamari either, to be honest with you. I have that empty greenhouse. Yeah, I'm not growing anything in the greenhouse. That's true. I could... I could make some magic happen here for lucky lunches, but I, I honestly don't know if I need to specifically. Because, like, my luck food of choice when it actually comes to the challenge itself for, like, catching the jellies and stuff, that's going to be, um... I don't have a hat for... Oh, I do have a hat for Nemo. I just, I, you just can only see it from one side. Um, my luck food of choice is going to be magic rock candy. So I don't know if I need lucky lunches much. I mean, maybe it could be good for just, like, panning and stuff. Or for Skull Caverns runs, anything like that, but... I don't know if I'm, it's worth putting in necessarily all that work. A leak to rub on your sore toe. I mean, I'll go look for a leak for a second. That's an easy one to complete. Yeah, I can get Lucky Lunch on Spring 28th, because it is year 4. I could also buy that book from, uh... From the bookseller, right? Get it that way. See carrot. Do I need more carrot seeds? Not really. Actually, I only really need like one carrot for for our purposes. Why am I using quality sprinklers in the greenhouse? Basically, just because I've never had the need to upgrade them because I just use Ginger Island for crops these days. <laughs> um, I don't have a leak for you yet. Let's go check the backwoods real quick. No luck, by the looks of it. No luck, no leak. Actually, I think you can get it on the... Feed carrots to my horse. That is the plan, ultimately. I don't know if I want to... I mean, I guess I could I could still have carrots, like, extra carrots to feed my horse just to get a little extra speed on random days. I don't have to save it for attempts specifically. Nothing. Okay. Noted. All right, let's go panning. If I get my hand on even just, like, one lucky ring, I'd be I'd be pretty stoked. I didn't even check if I... Like, I don't have lucky rings here. 
I didn't even check if I have Lucky Rings already just, like, chilling in my, in my dresser. I don't think I do. I'll check, I'll check that when I get home later today. But if I do, then I, I don't even need to be worrying about this, really. What do you got for me? Bream bait, do not need, but thank you. Sell the coral. The only bait that Willy can sell in spring that would be of use to me right now, by the way, is, is stonefish bait. Any other bait that he sells is not going to be worthwhile for me. Oh, panning spot. I'd like to do it on the dig site, or at the dig site if I can, but I'm not going to pass one up if I see it. Oh, I didn't make the ginger ale! What the heck was I thinking? Oh, well, it's fine. We have a little bit little bit of luck from the spicy eel. The lucky day. Maybe we can make some magic happen. Someone should tell this guy to upgrade his hoe. Okay. I would like to clear out the dig site a little bit here. Just for peace of mind more than anything. You were watching Nevada and didn't know I was live. Surprise! It is a bit of an impromptu stream, so... Thank you all for thank you all for making it out, making the time to to be out here. I heard the I heard the panning spot. There it is. Is there another spot that appeared? Sometimes I think my ears play tricks on me. Should have brought the scythe or a sword or something for this. I should upgrade my trash can. Valid point, honestly. I could upgrade my hoe just to, you know, have it, but really, I feel like the upgraded hoe does not come into play as often as the other tools. At least not for me. But maybe, if push comes to shove. I am excited for the Desert Festival not too, in the not-too-distant future for us here. We can actually get some pretty good stuff out of that, namely, like, magic rock candies and prismatic shards and things. There's some good rewards to be had there, for sure, so we gotta make hay while the sun shines, as they say. The frog is so cute. He is cute. Newest, newest member of Chloe's family. And possibly one of the cutest. Don't tell Haley I said that, but... Or Timpy. Or... Or Mochi. <laughs> or Nemo. Um, well, just, just don't tell any. It's, it's a secret between all of us. Yo, thank you, uh, Merkava. Did I get a conclusive answer about panning for fish before the tutorial, if it was possible? I did not get a conclusive answer, no. I didn't- I didn't talk to Blade or anything about it. I didn't- I didn't see about that specifically, but... Like, it just did not... Bas basically, off all the data points and stuff that I got from experimenting the previous stream with it, it just doesn't feel like it's- like it would be doable. Every single fish I was getting unless I broke the tutorial, was a tutorial-based fish, so... I'm gonna say no dice on that one. But I still have the Fisher enchantment. I'm happy to be, happen to be proven wrong at any moment here. Everyone is your favorite and no one can know exactly right. I thought, did I hear a panning spot? Ears play tricks on me sometimes, I swear. This is nice, though. Panning is nice and calming. It's also very exciting when you get, like, a chain of different panning spots going, because that's one of the benefits of uh, an upgraded pan, is that you have a chance to get, like, back-to-back -back panning spots. And, if you, and, you, and I don't know if there's, like, a limit to those. I feel like I've gotten, like, six or seven in a row before, so... It can go kind of crazy. You just gotta be ready for it. Oh, speaking of. What happened to Tracker? Tracker is still active. It's just it only we only see the little green arrows if they're off screen. That's four in a row. 
All right, four in a row. Not bad. No lucky ring yet, but we'll get there. Uh, eat a spicy eel. Keep that luck going. Is there any chance that the leg legacy RNG setting could allow you to get other fish with the pan? Maybe? I don't know. Honestly could not tell you that. That would require more experimentation or code diving or anything like that, so... I will I will talk to Blade about these about these things, I promise, because he probably has all the answers and more. <laughs> or maybe I'll go code diving myself. I, sh I should learn how to do that at some point, how to like just examine the code on my own. I know with enough about code that I could probably make some sense of it. I just have to actually like look at it. You can disable eating sounds, not uh, in the vanilla game, but I have a mod that's doing so. Linked in the description if you're so inclined. Oh, lucky ring, lucky ring. Oh, lucky ring, where art thou? Pen, copper, ore. Anytime I see copper ore out of my pan, it's just, it just feels like a kick in the pants. Because one of the things that I think that I think luck affects most dramatically is like the type of ore that you get. Ooh, there's our first diamond. Like I think a higher luck luck value has uh, means that you'll get more more iridium ore over copper ore specifically, at least according to the wiki. I don't know. It might have changed in uh, might have changed in 1.6. Who who can really say? I got a mahogany end table by the way. Um, <laughs> okay, I will swap out the what do I what do I not care about here? None of this like bone stuff I really care about. I think. Although it is all worth like a hundred hundred dollars each. Ooh, big money. Yeah, we'll just get rid of one of them. Not bad. Not too shabby. Make a chest? Uh I don't have enough stone or wood for a chest. Now if a hardwood chest was the thing, then we'd be in business. Can I go get, like, there's, there's... Oh, wait, hold on. I heard the panning spot. I was gonna go see if I could get more wood or stone from somewhere real quick. Earth crystal, not really necessary. Thank you. If you had a skeletal hand in real life, it would be your prized possession, to be honest. It would be a cool thing to have. Just like a... as like a little antique of some kind. An artifact. Mystery box I will absolutely take over the, pardon me, over the skeletal hand. Those panning spots, they are easy to miss sometimes. I always, like, if I can't see it immediately and there's, like, no green arrow pointing me away, I usually just, like, click over here because it can be obscured by that tree pretty well. What would even be the benefit of a hardwood chest? I mean, what's the benefit of a stone chest? <laughs> Sometimes it's just nice to have variety, you know? How far into prep would I say I am? I think we're actually decently far into prep. Like, I need to get magic rock candies. I need to get my lucky rings sorted out. I still need to get more targeted bait for a select few fish, but... And I need to unlock fishing mastery, but that's gonna go pretty quick. Because we're actually, like, already almost there. Um. I actually think we're, like, in pretty good shape as far as... As far as preparation goes right now. That's three in a row. Four in a row. Make it big five. Topaz. That we did get five in a row. Six in a row. All right. Keep it going. <laughs> It's a- it's a regular panning party out here. Let's go. Someone call Poxiel, he's crying. Hardwood is too hard to come by, though. I feel like it's actually more common in 1.6. Like, I feel like there's more methods by which you can get hardwood these days. I can get them out of, like, mystery boxes. Your pet can dig it up for you sometimes. There's- there's a few more facets to get hardwood now. I 
I mean, if I had to put, like, a number on how far into prep I feel like I am, I'd probably say I'm, like... I feel like I'm, like, 70% of the way through prep. But maybe that 30% is not created as equal as the other 70%. I don't know, it could be, it could be overly ambitious. Maybe there's more stuff that I'm just not thinking of right now. Yo, congrats, Pelinar. You found your own little frog friend. Treat them well. I will just say, by the way, I mean, we've only got plus one luck from food, and it's not even like... It's like gold pyramid luck day. We have 65 iridium ore from panning today. That's that's not insignificant. <laughs> if you're just, I mean, obviously we're not really in the market for iridium that much, but if you are, then this is a uh, this this is a valid way to do it. And I don't even have like a good enchantment on my pan, at least not not good as far as like iridium ore goes. Not to mention twelve omni geodes. And some white overalls. I mean, come on. <laughs> you can't argue with these kind of results. Ruby, I will take over... It doesn't matter. Actually, I should have taken the ruby. That's a spicy eel. Oh, well. It's not gonna, be not gonna make or break me. Iridium ore in this situation is good. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not necessarily what I need either. Really, what I'm looking for are lucky rings, mainly. A denim jacket, huh? Sure, why not? Um, get rid of these fossilized legs, please. 19 fiber over ruby. I need fiber for my Statue of Blessing. So hilariously, yes, I will take 19 fiber over over a ruby. I really only need two lucky rings, yeah. Um, we'll go to, we'll go to sleep on the island here just in case it is a lucky day tomorrow. Then I can keep panning here. I'll also see if I have like enough wood over at the in the in the, the island chest over here to make a chest up there. Of wood or stone or otherwise. Have a good one there, Museum Station Danny. You take care. We do have a frog. A little friend named Mallow. Um, Do I have any wood? I don't have any wood in here, actually. Did I have... I don't have stone either, huh? So I'm just like... Go like I thought I had stone. Wait, do I not? Oh, I have 39 stone right here. Yeah, okay. Um, Okay, we just need to go get some more... More stuff in the future, then. Actually, let me... Inventory is kind of heinous right now. Get rid of that. Put those away there. Trilobite can go in there. Sure, why not? And we'll leave the mahogany end table. I will just decorate our Ginger Island house exclusively with stuff we got out of... <laughs> out of... from panning. I think that's fine. Won't be so bad tomorrow because I cleaned out the dig site today. That's true. That's pretty true. Yeah, I can. I'll just chop down some trees tomorrow. It was it was a little late yesterday, so I didn't uh, I didn't do it then. But gold pyramid luck. We take those. Actually, you know what? I mean, I know I slept on Ginger Island for a reason, but I should go back and get some ginger ale for for my purposes here. So why don't we just go back and do that? some ginger ale. We'll get some... Actually, should I bring anything else home with me? Bring these cinder shards. I don't really need to bring the ore right now. We'll just let it build up here for the time being. Bring the fiber. Bring the the stone, the wood. For the for the heck of it. Yeah, I want to go get the ginger, ginger ale. Plus, I want to check Willie's shop anyway, so... Bring the Omni Geodes. Actually, no, leave the Omni Geodes. It's fine. Plant ancient seeds in the greenhouse. 
I could, but I don't think that they're going to matter that much in the grand scheme of things. This star fruit is going to get us, like, if if we don't get to the mastery level before the star fruit is ready, we'll certainly get there once the star fruit is ready. Xmeister, welcome on in. No worries. I'm glad that I'm glad that you're able to make it to this one. It's been a while since we've done a bit of a later stream, so I'm happy to have this here for you. Okay. Some wild honey. Why not? Okay, let's get the ginger ale situation sorted out here. I'll get... I only have... I don't, don't have that much sugar, to be honest with you. I could probably do with getting some more sugar. Give me some sugar. Might as well get this going, too. How much longer do I think it's going to take 1.6 to come out on console? Um, Concerned Ape actually tweeted... Just a few days ago, I think, about um, about 1.6 on console. He doesn't have a specific, like, release date, but he does have... But he says that he's working, like, vigorously on it, and that he's going to try his best to to get it out without too many delays, so... I, I don't remember the specific wording that he used, but... But hopefully it's not too far away for all, for all the, the console and, and the mobile players out there. It, it is on his radar, so that's uh, that's worth noting. Also worth noting, do I have lucky rings? Short speed boost. I do not have any lucky rings. I do have a hot java ring. <laughs> that could come in handy. Who knows? Also going to go ahead and swap out. Actually, I don't really need to swap out the... Um, put those cinder shards there. I don't need to swap out the dagger for the iridium scythe. I'll just bring the iridium scythe with me. Put the dagger... Just put the dagger down here for now. That's fine. Why do I have so much sap? Because I haven't had to use it for anything, basically. It's just been building up over time. Bring a chest with you. On it. Big stone chest right there. Thanks for looking out, though, Mary. Alright. Um, I do have to wait for Willy to get into his shop. Let's just do, we'll do, go do like a quick little moss run. Lakota, welcome on in. You're not, you're not too late. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We still got time in the stream. The night is young, as they say. Ooh, I heard that panning spot as well. Part of me wonders whether the Cindersap Forest might not be a terrible spot to to pan these days. If you if you can get to the the panning spots in time, I think that's the big problem with this place is that it just takes so long to get to a panning spot sometimes that you just miss it. Like I like I missed that one that showed up a second ago. Don't I get tempted to grab the clams? I, I do, admittedly, but I've managed to quell that t temptation over the years. I don't currently have a per have a need for the clams, so so I'm not going to let them go by the wayside. Why do I need moss? I need 333 moss specifically for the Statue of Blessings. Otherwise, I could use it to craft deluxe bait as well. Having a look and see if there's there's the paper hat. We actually have access to a paper hat. That's kind of that's kind of perfect, honestly. I'm gonna buy at least one paper hat because that's like a, that's like a fun little sailor hat. I kind of love that. Where's the panning spot? Hold on. I didn't realize the panning spot was that close. Yo, our first lucky ring! <laughs> it's just that easy, I'm telling you. These things have got to be more common these days. I just I just got that one on a whim. I don't even have my ginger ale active. <laughs> we take those. Let's go. And a diamond and, and a mystery box. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Box seal is quaking. It's ab just absolutely seething out off of that one. Lucky ring unlocked. The other one can't be too far behind now. I heard the panning spot. Where is it? It's like over to the east there. 
I mean, if that, if, I mean, I should just go for it. If, if that panning spot was that good to me. Did I miss it? I think I missed it. That's okay. One lucky ring down, one to go. Okay, I'm gonna go to Willie's now. And with one lucky ring on our side, getting the next lucky ring should actually just go, like, so much faster. Wait, where's Willie going? Where's Willie? I need to buy bait from you, dude! <laughs> what the heck? Why is he leaving? Does he have a doctor's appointment or something? Oh, well. Catch him next time, I guess. I feel like he does have a doctor's appointment today. <laughs> well, he showed up for that one, at least. Alright. Yo, Jib Jabby. Glad you're enjoying the Price Perfection VODs that, uh, from, uh, from way back when. Thank you for the kind words. I appreciate that. Drop some ginger and stuff in here. I will make one single ginger ale. That ginger ale's for you, Jib Jabby. Tuesday, probably a doctor appointment. I feel like I've been bamboozled by Willie's doctor appointment being on, on that day so many times now, actually. Okay, pop these away in here. Um, honestly, I can leave behind some of this stuff that I don't really need right now. Just leave those behind. Leave the paper hat. As long as I remember to come back for it, we'll be all right. Do I still talk to K6 Scope? Not for a, not for a while. I hope he's doing well, but I haven't heard from him in a, him in a long while. He's an, that's an old YouTube friend from the, from the wild west of YouTube, as it were. I didn't I didn't drink my ginger ale yet, but but the panning spots are calling to me. Hold on, I down the ginger ale real quick. No, I missed the panning spot. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have drank that ginger ale. Son of a. What if I put the teeny hat on the frog? On the frog? I don't think you can, but I would love it if you could. That would be too precious. What am I going for right now? We are going for our second lucky ring. Is what we're looking for. We need two lucky rings for our fishing endeavors now because. Uh, the chance to catch the new jellies that are added in the fishing collection are dependent on luck, so we want to max out our luck for for that purpose. Put down a chest up here. Make it a nice golden chest. Why not? If you're playing multiplayer, does Willie get cloned if he's got a doctor appointment and someone wants the boat? It's a good question, actually. I'm not the, I'm not the person to answer it, but it is a good question. Get the artifact spot, please. Where's the artifact spot? Right over there. Bam. That was actually a pretty good spot. <laughs> I forget you can get mystery boxes out of those things. We could honestly go for the for foraging mastery to try to unlock gold mystery boxes as well. Cause I think as based on based on what I can tell, gold mystery boxes are just like they have the same mostly the same loot as regular mystery boxes, I think, except you have a higher chance to get like better stuff out of them. I don't know what the odds are on that on them specifically, but it would be wouldn't be a terrible idea. Because gold mystery boxes could lead to more magic rock candy and prismatic shards and stuff. Iridium instead of quality sprinklers, for example. I don't know if you'd be able to get iridium sprinklers out of them. I, I did like a tiny bit of testing with gold mystery boxes. Not the same sort of testing I've done with... Uh, that I've done with 
the regular mystery boxes, but enough to know that if that they feel similar, but the the gold mystery boxes do seem to have better stuff on average. Oh, you've gotten iridium sprinklers out of them? Yo, that's pretty hype. Good to know. There being different tiers of copper pan implies the existence of a, just a regular pan. I thought about that too. It, it is a little weird that we just skip straight to copper copper pan instead of having like a, a default pan to start from. But hey, saves me an upgrade. I'll take it. Bobo shirt! Let's go! <laughs> To the victor go the spoils. Oh, baby. I went panning on Ginger Island and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. Oh, hold on. Maybe I got more than the lousy t-shirt. Gold ore. I need to down another spicy eel. Ginger ale's also running a little low. Could go and get another one of those. You know, while while we don't have any, any panning spots on deck, I'll just go make another one real quick. Tourist Chloe kind of feels like that, doesn't it? Make a couple ginger ales while I'm here. Three. That works. Yeah, the back of this shirt is so blazingly pink. <laughs> look at this. Oh my gosh. First to look at. I like that. I like that our frog rides up on the Parrot Express with us. I didn't even notice that the first time. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my gosh, I love it. High visibility pink vest. Chloe says safety first. Always wear your bobo shirt. Maybe it's a coding thing since existing players have a copper pan and adding a new pan would have a different item ID which could mess with Clint. I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe it's just maybe. I wonder if that did cross concerned Ace mind to add like just like a regular pan. That you would get from the fish tank bundles instead of uh instead of the copper pan in 1.6. I can see the rationale behind it, but it doesn't feel necessary. Chloe's OSHA certified? Absolutely. I think I took off my my glowy ring, by the way, so. We're going to be in the dark here a little bit. Oh, my ginger ale is out. Chugga chugga. How you doing there, Mallow? He's vibing. He's vibing. Pay no attention to the parrots. They, if they, if you don't look at them, they won't look at you. Don't, don't think about scooping one of them up. Now you have quite the tongue on you, but you gotta save that for very particular circumstances. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like the panning vibes. Even though it's a lot of just kind of like standing around, it honestly does just feel like kind of relaxing. Just a nice relaxing alternative to to the perils of Skull Cavern. Mallow just tongues up a fish. <laughs> Maybe it's a secret mechanic that will only unlock during the Master Angler Challenge. Your frogs can actually catch fish for you, but only in the most dire of circumstances. It's 1.50 a.m. All we need to catch is one final fish to complete our collection, but we're not going to have time to cast our rod. Just as we're rearing back, ready to give up, a tongue comes lashing out of the darkness from behind us. 
and Mallow plucks that lava eel straight from straight from the bottom of the volcano. Everyone cheers and claps. It's the most exciting moment in history. Roll credits. <laughs> Should be able to give gold animal crackers to pets. That would be fun. Wouldn't even be that, like, impactful. I can't see a reason not to do that, honestly. He'll burn his little tongue. It's true, but that's... I mean, hey, not everyone has what it takes to be a hero like Mallow. We would tend to him well after the fact. Don't you worry about it. Ooh, nice little firefly there. Do not lick lava, even if it looks tasty. You can't tell me what to do. Yo, Full Metal, welcome on in. Watching while working overnights. Glad it can ha provide some entertainment for the for the graveyard shift for you. You'd love to get double fish from your kitty cat. Does anyone know the specifics of what kinds of fish you can get from a from a from a cat? Sunfish, by the way. Sunfish is probably there. I would have to assume. If Mallow can eat up a lava lurker, he can probably be fine with a lava eel. I mean, you know what? Fair point. That is a good point. You've gotten shrimp and smallmouth bass from your cat. Oh, people were saying that we could get snail from, uh, from our cat. From Mochi. Which could be a way to get the snail we need for the raccoon quest. A bunch of snails. A lot of snails. Okay. Periwinkle. So some, so a lot of the crab pot fish. To be honest, you have no idea what's going on right now. That's okay, Full Metal. Just enjoy the vibes, honestly. Also, a wood skip, which was cool. Wood skip would actually be handy. The only... Because I would like to get wood skip bait. But the only means I have to get wood skip bait is buying a wood skip from the traveling cart. So if I can get a wood skip from, uh, from, from Mochi... I would be over the moon with that. And turtles can give sea and cave jelly. Ooh, that's kind of fun. All right, I got to swap off this Bobo shirt. It's harsh in the vibes. Okay. Um, Pop the sunfish away. Gold coconut's actually not terrible either. All right, off to bed. Nighty night. Cats can give any mountain or forest river fish. Ooh. Gen 3 king. Is that true? Or are you baiting me right now? <laughs> I would love that if it were true. That's That could be very handy. Um, Fishing info not needed. Neutral luck day. Probably not worth going panning today then. Hey, Full Metal, thank you for the gifted membership, by the way. To radioactive Karita hearts. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much for the generosity and the and the support. I appreciate you. Glad you're having a good time. Best of luck with your with your overnight shift, by the way. But I'm gonna leave behind the ginger ale at the island here for for future panning endeavors. You haven't tested it, but according to the wiki, yes. Oh, fair. I haven't actually looked at the wiki for that stuff. That's good to know, though. They can't give the legend, the goby, or the glacier fish. <laughs> Could you imagine your cat just walks up to you one day, holding the glacier fish in its mouth, and just kind of, like, staring at you, like, did I do good? <laughs> yes, Mochi. If you, if you brought me the glacier fish, I would dare say you did an amazing job. <laughs> that would be incredible. All right. What are we bringing home today? Need to bring home all this and that and that and all my shirts, my rings. Bring home the sunfish. Bring home the bacon. Bring home this gold coconut, maybe? I don't know. Feeling a little little cheeky with it. Um, 
I guess I can bring home all this ore, actually. Couldn't hurt to do that. Bring home the hardwood, the fiber, bone fragments, clay, just all these, like, resources and stuff. Nice to have omni-geodes, maybe. I actually maybe wouldn't mind opening my omni-geodes. I think I have a decent amount of them. How many omni-geodes am I sitting on right now? I have 368 omni-geodes. Gobi is such an odd addition. It doesn't do anything. No recipe is not super valuable. I think it's just because, like, Concerned Ape added the, added the waterfalls first, and then he's like, what fish are available around waterfalls? One Google search later, the Gobi is officially in the game. Dog can just bring you a whole log of hardwood. Tim Beep's done that but for me before. It's pretty great. Yeah, I'm not really saving my... Uh, I'm not really saving my... Oh, I actually have a Bream Pond here. I didn't even realize. For, like, the smoked Bream for the... For the Raccoon Quest. Hold on, I gotta update this. Three super cucumbers. Papa get the big, the biggest stick he could find. That's why he's he's the best boy. Need jellies to make the smoker. My inventory is full. What are you talking about? Uh, I do need jellies to make the smoker. That is true. Actually, do I have the means to even make it to get a cave jelly in any capacity? I, I've, I have the river and the sea jelly from fish ponds. I don't know if I can get the cave jelly in any in any world. Does the ghost fish have a chance to give you cave jelly? Crab pot book. Lava eel gives cave jelly. Cave turtle pet. <laughs> the legendary cave turtle that no one's unlocked yet. Hold on, let's... Should I put this... Wait. Excuse me. I'm glad I've learned to enjoy cleaning. The house gets dirty very easily. Oh, you cleaned up so nicely, though. Yeah, absolutely. Hold on, I gotta go try this, uh, this sailor's hat. Actually, I keep, I feel like the sailor's hat, I like the bows on Timbeeb and Mochi. How do we feel about the sailor hat? Oh, yeah. Oh, the paper hat on, on Nemo here. That's a good fit. That is a good fit right there. I think that's perfect. A little sailor Nemo. There's a one-third chance for Jewels of the Sea to be traded for Cave Jelly. That's interesting, but yeah, I, th I don't think we can get that book without actually fishing, right? How long is the stream going to be this evening? Undecided for now, but... Still going to go for at least probably like an hour and a bit. Possibly, quite possibly more. Alright, Sunfish goes in there. Yeah, we have these jellies. We could, I mean, on, honestly, completing the raccoon quest is not, like, even that important to me. So so getting the smoked bream is not, like, a be-all, end-all kind of thing. It would be fun. It would be nice. But the only way I can think to get a fish smoker... Because we technically, if we get lucky enough, we don't have to craft it. You can get a fish smoker from the prize machine... I think you can either get a fish smoker or a dehydrator from the prize machine, depending on like what your seed is. I think you only get you only get a chance at one or the other. Does the cart sell jellies? I don't think so. Statue of Blessings, you will be mine. Uh, I should go visit Willie, speaking of. 
actually into the fish smoker. I could buy the recipe while I'm there, and then I can get, uh, I can also get, hopefully, some stonefish bait. Yeah, I'd need a lava eel fish pond, which I am not able to get, as far as I know. Has anybody here had the cow standee fakeout? What the heck is the cow standee fakeout? Sounds like a... I don't even know. Sounds like a tragedy from the 19... the 1960s or something like that. Anchovy bait do not need. Yeah, I've seen the cow... the cow decal in the machine. I don't know what the cow standee fakeout is, though. Sounds terrifying. Any turtle pet has a 0.65% chance to give cave jelly, according to the wiki. Hold on. Not that I'm doubting you, Reese. Rice? Reese? Reese Kleckner? Not that I'm doubting you, but I need to I need to wiki verify this myself. Turtle. I'm just gonna look up turtle on the wiki. I don't know if it even has a page for it, but well, on the wiki it's it's loading. Okay, animals. Pets, turtles, pet gifts, turtle gifts. A turtle does have a, you can get, it can give you sea jelly and cave jelly. Cave jelly at a 0.65% rate. Looks like we got to get ourselves a pet turtle, friends. We're adding, we're adding more pets to the, <laughs> to the rotation here. Hey, I'm not mad about it. More friends is not a bad thing. The question is, do we just go for, like, the basic turtle pet, or do I break the bank and go for the $500,000 turtle pet? <laughs> a paste of fresh herring makes a wonderful tonic for bed sores. TMI, Harvey, but I'll see if I have a herring for you, I guess. Your name is pronounced Reese. Good, thank you for the clarification. I'm glad I got it right on the first try. <laughs> it's one that I thought, I, I feel like I've seen the name before and I was like, I think that's that's pronounced Reese usually, but I can never be too sure. Let's see, do I have any herring? I don't see any herring in here. You might be out of luck, Harvey. Break the bank is the cutest turtle. There is a $500,000, 500,000 dollar turtle, excuse me. Alright, I need to go build a, build a pet bowl, and then I need to, to, to welcome this turtle in to my life. More money equals, <laughs> means more good. I mean, in theory, yeah, I'm paying, I'm paying premium for this turtle. Purple turtle, an iridium turtle? You're telling me they put an iridium turtle in this game? They thought of everything. The bookseller route sounds more likely. But the bookseller's not as cute as the turtle. So I'm gonna have to decline. We'll still we'll still check into the bookseller, I think. Free cave jelly for jewels of the sea. Can I buy jewels of the sea from the bookseller? Either way, we're getting the turtle. We want all all possible avenues here. Okay, where, where would a turtle's pet bowl go? If I were a turtle, where would I want to, to drink? What if we put our turtle pet bowl, like, right outside the greenhouse here? By the water? I mean, I would want, I, yeah, you know, by the water. I don't know if, I don't know, can the, can the turtles swim? You know what, over here. Right here. Do right there. Go right there. Let's go up against the bushes. Kind of like that. You can buy Jewels of the Sea after year three. Mmm. Okay. Okay. We are in year four, so it technically should be open to me. Let's go. Let's go see when the bookseller is in town. All, all turtles need to be named after Renaissance era artists. There is a precedent. Bookseller is in two days here, actually. I 
Either way, I'm getting this turtle. I mean, what else am I spending the money on realistically? And I, I can get more money with, like, starfruit and stuff. So, like, adopt pets. He's speaking to me. This, this, this little amphibious lad is speaking to me on a spiritual level right now. Nothing against the green turtle. The green turtle is also hype. Close your eyes and do it. Ooh. Weppo? <laughs> You're not Weppo. Are you Ruma? Are you Sokka? Are you Brucky? None of the random names will do. We gotta think of a good a good turtle name. Yurtle the turtle. Too too obvious. Purple the turtle. <laughs> um let me think. Purple? I'm trying to think. Turtles aren't amphibians. You're correct. They're reptiles. That's my bad. Donatello, Sheldon. Name the turtle after a fish. A second Donatello. Shelly. I think in honor of my favorite, you know what, I got to, to, to thine own heart be true. In honor of my favorite racer from one of my childhood favorite games, Diddy Kong Racing. We're going, we can, we can name this little, little dude Tip Top. This is, this is Tip Top. Welcome Tip Top to the team. Send little Tip Top to your home right away. Man, I love Tip Top so much. If any turtle has a place in my heart, it's Tip Top. <laughs> from Diddy Kong Racing. I think also from Banjo Kazooie, but I knew I knew Tip Top from Diddy Kong Racing first. Tip Top the OG. If you know, you know. If you play Diddy Kong Racing or any of those old like rareware games, you probably know a thing or two about Tip Top. <laughs> Technically, the green turtle would have been a better fit for Tip Top. Tip Top, where are you? That's not your bowl, Mochi. That's not your bowl. It's okay. You're keeping it, keeping it well guarded. I think Tip Top. You're probably in. You know what? I'm gonna scythe this grass away. I do have old slither legs, so it's not that much of a concern. But it is kind of getting on my nerves still. Can a turtle wear a hat? I don't think so. Unfortunately, I think we tried that before. And it just did not work out. Tip top. Yo, look at him. He's ready. He's raring to go. He's like, this is where you keep all the master angler stuff, huh? <laughs> there he is. He's protecting it. Oh, he's he he knows the place so well already. Then <laughs> Haley's just like, why is there a turtle in the middle of my bedroom now? <laughs> She's probably learned not to question things because, you know, ever since marrying Haley. Arcane hat. Let's just give it a try. No no hats for turtles, unfortunately. He seems so small. He's he's roughly turtle sized. There we go. Tip top mochi and Timbeeb. <laughs> the greatest team. You know, you you I feel like you should absolutely be able to put hats on turtles, but it should go on the shell, not on the head. I think that would be perfect. Where did I get these oysters? I probably just like picked them up off the ground, right? Wish you could be friend pets faster. These things take time though. These things take time and patience. You can only gain 12 friendship per pet with per with pets per day by petting them. If you fill up their water bowl, I think you get a little extra friendship too. I don't know how much, but we'll be sure to stay on top of those. It would be cool if like the like friendship 101 that book you can get if that if that helped with uh with friendship with your pets as well, but it does not as far as I know. Is there a max to how many pets you can have? You <laughs> 
Tip Top has taken over Haley's room. He's sleeping. Oh my god. He's just walked into Haley's room and, and conked out, man. <laughs> I love this guy already. He's got so much personality. He owns the place. He matches. He does kind of fit in, honestly. I mean, she's got like the wallpaper and everything. Matches the rug there. Oh, that's too perfect. All right, I think we're good to sleep now. Definitely worth the investment, if only for the camaraderie. Whether or not we get the cave jelly from him remains to be seen, but... Now we have... <laughs> we have Timby, we have Mochi, we have Mallow, and we have Tip Top, and we have Nemo. <laughs> there's, there's just so much going on here. I'm, st I'm opening my own zoo, it's official. Smells good. Oh, you made me breakfast? A little toast for breakfast? I appreciate you. Thanks so much, girl. Haley and her designer pets. Littlest pet shop. Uh, fortune teller me. Ooh, spirits are very happy today. This could be a, a golden panning opportunity for us then. I think we make our way to Ginger Island once Willie opens up. And try and get our last lucky ring if we can make it happen. I've got the spicy eel for luck. I've got ginger ale waiting on the island for me already, so I think we'll be in good shape there. Don't activate my littlest pet shot hyperfixation. <laughs> I apologize. I didn't know there was any any re any related trauma there. Not trauma, but you know what I mean. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I need to I need to water my pets. I need to pet them as well. I love the turtle noise, man. It's so good. Yo, some driftwood from Tim Beeb. Thank you. No, I can't toss that out. Come on. Tim Beeb went to all the trouble of bringing me that driftwood. I'm just going to throw it in the garbage? I don't think so. Creatrix, welcome on in. We did get the turtle. We did get the turtle. It technically was a practical decision because it allows us to get cave jelly. To craft a, a fish smoker, which we may need for for raccoon-based purposes, but but I mean, let's be real. We got the turtle because it's a turtle, <laughs> and we got the, the primo turtle, the hat one worth half a million gold. We don't mess around. Okay, I think we're good. How's our mastery looking, by the way? We're getting there. Off towards the island now. Doesn't Leia like Driftwood? She does. It's not a loved gift, but it is a liked gift. What do you got for me? No fish, please? Farm fresh garlic. Don't think I have anything like that, unfortunately, Pam. I'm not in the not in the business of farming garlic. Maybe I should be, apparently. I'm going to give golden animal crackers to the fish ponds if I find any. I don't know where I'll, where, I'll, where I'll find them necessarily, though. Tragically, I think the most common place to find golden animal crackers is in fishing treasure chests. <laughs> you can find them elsewise, from what I've been told and from what I've read anecdotally, but you, uh... But I think that's the most common way to get them. I can go in after eight when, even when Willie is fishing. I do know that, but... Well, I, sh I mean, I could be waiting for him inside, I suppose, anyway, but I need to wait for him so I can check his bait stock regardless. What do you got? Sardine bait? No dice, my friend. We're just waiting on the stonefish bait. Alright, let's go grab our ginger ale real quick, and then we will make our way... Make my way to the dig site. I am wearing my lucky ring, right? I've got my lucky ring, I've got my ginger ale, I've got spicy eel. We're pretty well set up right now. What's our horse's name? Our horse is Nemo. There's a lot of names to keep track of for all of our animals, but rest assured I will I will never forget any of our animal names. 
All right. No panning spot to start off with yet. That's okay. Take a minute to clear things out. Oh, hold on. Did I hear a panning spot? I swear I heard a panning spot. Maybe there was just like something that fell in the water. I don't know. Oh, drink the ginger ale. You're so right. Actually, I te maybe I don't have to wait. Maybe I can wait until the first panning spot appears to drink the ginger ale. Because I think the pan, I think your luck, at least your like food buff luck, does doesn't really affect like how often panning spots appear. It only affects like the actual loot from the panning spots. Yo, Jack, be thick. Let's go. It's the greatest thing. Is the greatest book of all time. I'm so thick now. Let's go. Exclamation point thickness. Maybe just exclamation point thick. <laughs> the best book that there ever was or ever will be. We should add exclamation point thick for this exact circumstance. It would be such a niche command, but... We do have a blue frog to match the blue drip. It's so good, right? I love my little baby, my little baby boy Mallow. How big must your spreadsheet be for planning all this out again after the new update? It's spread across a few different documents, but you know, there's uh there's definitely a lot of planning that's gone into this. Most of the groundwork from uh from the original Master Angler Challenge still works just fine for this. We actually don't have to do a lot extra, there's just a little bit extra. Going the extra mile. Yo, Mochi, we're all, we're working our way up already there. Perfect. Okay, I heard my panning spot, drink our ginger ale. Let's get this party started. Uh, where was that? Right there. Our secu second lucky ring is in imminent. Just you wait. Just you wait. You can indeed reforge the frog egg to change its color if you're so inclined. I like the- I wanted a blue frog anyway, so I'm happy with the result I got, but... If you want a prismatic frog or anything of that capacity, then... And it could be just a number of anvil forges away. I think every time you use the anvil, it's what, like three iridium bars, though? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's, that's, that's amazing, Laura. I love that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna if I'm gonna read that out loud, but that's, that's amazing. Have a good one there, Maggie. Thanks for hanging out. You know, speaking of amazing books, by the way, um, in my little experiment that I did over the weekend where I opened up 2,000 mystery boxes to gauge the average value of, of one mystery box, which actually, I think it worked, I don't think I ever actually said it, I think it worked out to something like around 250 gold expected value for a mystery box based on my sample size. Um, so there's that if you're curious. But, one of the actual, like, best things you can get out of a mystery box is the Book of Mysteries. The first time you get it from a book, from a mystery box, you can read it and you can get that, the, like, power-up, where, like, mystery boxes are more commonly found now, I think. Um, but you can, st you can get more of them after that, and I think, I, I think it works like a lot of other books do, where, like, if you read it after you read it the first time, then you just get some experience in every skill. I just got a model ship. That's kind of nice. But, interestingly, the Book of Mysteries has kind of an insane sale price. You can sell the Book of Mysteries rather than reading it for experience. And it sells for $3,000. <laughs> it sells for more than a Prismatic Shard does. Which is, which is kind of insane. So if you're going for just pure money, getting those books is actually, like, 
one of the best things you can get from the from a mystery box. Oh, I heard it. I heard it. There it is. I need to get my spicy eel back on in a second here. So where's my spicy eel? Spicy eel. Uh, did I lose the panning spot? No, I see it down there. It's a ridiculous price. I don't I don't know why it's quite that high, but I'm, I'm glad that it is. It's very cool. Imagine if you could just donate the books to the library. That would be fun. Get a little rewards for filling out the library some. Yeah, right now I'm hunting for the uh, lucky rings. Or one, one extra lucky ring. I've gotten the first lucky ring I need. But we need two to really max out our chances for uh, jellies and stuff when we go fishing. Oh. Is there an easy way to get the Book of Mysteries? As far as I know, the only way to get a Book of Mysteries is via the... Um, I swear I heard another another one, but I didn't see it. Is via the mystery boxes. I think you could probably get it from a golden mystery box as well. Maybe you have a higher chance there. But I couldn't tell you with any specific authority. Am I combining with other rings? I don't need to for the actual Master Angler Challenge. It could be a good idea to combine them just with other ones for, like, skull caverning purposes or something like that, but I don't think it's super critical. Maybe you can sell them after you max out the extra experience you need for the for mastery and stuff. It is true, yeah. That way the books aren't just, like, useless if you find them after you've already gotten all your mastery up. Oh, where's that one? There it is. That's three in a row. Ooh, baby! <laughs> Let's go! All right, that's it's just that easy. And I got a beanie out of the deal. And I got some brown overalls. Oh my gosh, this is the best day of all time. Um, I guess I'll swap out this one, one fiber for some brown overalls. Sure, why not? I mean, honestly, I don't really need the model ship. So I could just get it from the furniture catalog. Let's go, though. Look at that. That is so nice. Well, that's all the lucky rings we need. We technically don't need to even be panning anymore, but I'm here anyway. What the heck is happening? <laughs> Wearable dwarf helm? Yes, please. Get some homies in chat. Homie is watching over this one. Uh, get the mixed seeds out of here. Get another lucky ring out of for, out of, for our troubles. I'm telling you, man, the lucky rings, they are more common now than they ever have been in the past. Um, swap it out for the... I guess I don't need three earth crystals. Don't really need these either. Holy moly. Now I have a ring to show off in my house. I can, I can give Haley one to wear in case she wants a little extra luck. No, unfortunately, you can't merge two of the same ring. Otherwise, yeah, if, if we get four lucky rings and get plus four luck, that would be insane, but it doesn't work like that, I'm afraid. That would be super cool. Combine the lucky rings with glow rings. Probably a good idea, actually. Or maybe, like, just, like, I, I really only need, like, one glow ring, probably. But it would it would be good for like production quality on the on the actual challenges so that like when it gets dark and stuff I'm not uh you can still see what's going on. But yeah, we can combine it with like some like glowstone rings or something like that. And unfor unfortunately, can't merge two identical rings together, so so no no double lucky ring for us. At this point, I'm just I'm just here for I'm just here for the experience. Now I'm just here as a thank you to my to my lucky iridium pan. I 
got a shirt, a wearable shirt. You'll love to see it. I got rid of this four stone for that. Four wedding rings merged together. Carefully, he's he's a hero. No! <laughs> crop top? That is a crop top, isn't it? Look at that. Actually kind of matches our outfit kind of nicely. Iridium band with luck ring and slime charmer with the burglar's ring as you go through setup. That's a pretty good setup, yeah. I've got some decent combined rings here. Like, I've got... This is crab shell plus slime charmer, and then I think I have, like, iridium band plus... Um... I don't remember what the other ring I have going into Skull Cavern usually is. Either way, I'm content with this. Let's head on out of here. Will Thanos get all five rings and snap? Um, those were stones, not rings. But I see your point. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go put this model ship on the inside of my house here, just for kicks. There we go. You have 10 toes, 20 rings. Too many rings for any one person to handle. Too many, too many words for any man to understand. Okay, I will leave the ginger ale still on Ginger Island here. I am going to bring... Actually, gonna, yeah, I'm going to bring... Actually, maybe I'll bring it all home. So if I'm not going to be panning anymore... I got six sunfish out of that. That's kind of wild. <laughs> um, okay. We're in a pretty good spot now. We got all our lucky rings that we need. I actually don't even need to be wearing these right now. We'll just hold on to them for... for good luck. I'll swap it out for my actual previous ring setup in case I need to go to Skull Caverns or anything fun like that. I need to bring anything else home with me? I don't think so. I think we're good. I'll bring nine diamonds just for posterity's sake. Alright. Ooh. Hold on. Would they dare bless me with one final lucky ring for my troubles? Definitely not, but it's worth a look anyway. Ten iron ore, fine. <laughs> Hold on to them. You think you need to wear it? You haven't found the you haven't found the book that lets you have the ring effects when they're just in your inventory, as opposed to just as opposed to wearing them. Ooh, the bees are here to, because I'm lying. Because I'm lying to you, and the bees are here to be like, no, no, no. You can't. You're not getting away with that. Come on now, fess up. The bees are here to protect, protect the truth. Get our bee emojis in chat. Bee emojis for the best song in the game. Best song in the game that's not actually in the game. Got the hot Java ring. That could be kind of a fun one to bring along. I am running a little low on... On triple shot espresso, actually. We could combine, like, a, a lucky ring and a hot java ring, and then we could go, like, lucky ring plus iridium band or something like that. Where's the song from? This is a, an early Haunted Chocolatier release. This one. Gonna go combine my rings when I get the chance. I will do it and I will have such a fun time. All right, um, sunfish goes in here. Ginger, ginger is gonna go in here. I'll also put the ginger ale in here. Put the sugar away in the fridge. Don't really, don't really need hot the hot Java ring because I can just make my own coffee if I need to, or I can I can buy coffee from Gus as well. Can you use cheese seasoning to make extra lucky ginger ale? You can, and I actually do have some cheese seasoning here. Um, somewhere kicking around. Yeah, right there. But it didn't feel super necessary. Not for not for my purposes that I was using it for, anyway. Alright. Let's lock that in and head to bed, shall we? Imbeeb sleeping there. We got Tip Tup up here. We got Mochi. We got Haley. 
And we got Mallow. Just it's such a full house. <laughs> no children, just all pets. Just all like fur and and slimy babies. Furry and slimy babies. All right, the bookseller is in town today. Okay, so we should check out the bookseller for sure. Um, let me go get... What was my combined ring? I have two combined rings here. This is... Let's see. Burglar ring plus Iridium band. Or... Yeah, okay, this is this is what I would want for, for just general purposes. At least for the glowing effect. All right, we'll need to combine those lucky rings at some point. I don't know if I'm going to do that today specifically. I guess there's no reason not to do it today. I should just, like, get it out of the way. So I'm not thinking about it anymore. Glad spouses don't search chests. Imagine if they found you 30 stacks of mega bombs. Hey, you know, some spouses give you bombs, so... Everyone's got their own secrets. All right, Egg Festival tomorrow. Oop, pardon me. Egg Festival tomorrow. And then it's Desert Festival. Is Desert Festival, like, the day after the Egg Festival? Or is it, is it is like, one day further beyond? I guess I can check the calendar when I'm in town. First, we've got to take care of our pets. Ow. Mochi, where are you hiding? There you are. I see you. I see you. You cutie pie. Is there a... Oh, the panty spot's way down here. Way down here. Oh my gosh. Is it hiding back here? Yeah, it is. Eight copper ore. Glad I went on my way for that one. Did the turtle meow? No, it made a copyrighted turtle noise. Trademark. TM. What do you got for me? Got a Haley portrait, but you can't tempt me with that every single time. Good try, though. While I'm down here, let's do a quick little moss run. Then we'll hit up the bookseller, and then maybe we'll head to Ginger Island just for... Um, just to forge our rings. Only noise you ever heard from a turtle was a kind of reptile hissing noise. So when the turtle gets angry. He wouldn't like a turtle when he's angry. Turtles can be kind of scary. They can get, like, pretty big, and they can be, like, aggressive. It's a little... It's a little daunting, I'm not gonna lie. Snapping turtles sound like alligators? I would believe it. They, they snap. They scratch and have very powerful jaws. Yeah, they got the jaws, they got the claws. Like, don't get on a turtle's bad side. If you, if, if like, a turtle starts chasing you, you're probably going to be fine. You'll probably get away. Just don't put yourself in a position where the turtle has the, like, home field advantage, you know? They can wield weapons. I could picture a turtle with, like, a knife in its mouth. It's a very scary thought, to be honest with you. Okay, we'll... Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll hit up Willie's shop later once we head to Ginger Island. Still didn't get green rain. Still have not gotten green rain. I know you have to... I know it has to be in summer. Do you think I can reach that from here? The re the, maybe the reaching enchantment would go crazy with that. I don't know. All right, Marcello, what do you got for me? Buy books. Way of the Wind Part 1 I already have. And Horse the Book and Old Slither Legs. Okay. I do not see Jewels of the Sea here. So we are out of luck that way. The Raccoon Journal. Weeds have a greater chance to yield mixed seeds. Don't feel like I need that in my life just yet. Queen of Sauce book could come in handy, but honestly, I think I just buy the... Actually, I don't even need, like, the experience books. I'm going to get the experience for mastery on my own quickly enough, so... Trade-in books. Nothing even, nothing even interesting to trade that much, to be honest with you. 
I guess I could trade, like, what, bait and bobber for some deluxe bait. I can just buy the deluxe bait from Willy as well, though. Go back for that prize ticket, maybe. And it's not really worth it right now. Green rain in year one is so creepy. I've heard it's kind of like a creepy event. I'm kind of excited about it. I still, I still really don't know. Like I, ha I kind of have like the broad strokes of what green rain's about, but I've yet to see any like actual footage of it. I missed your Ninja Turtle joke. Oh, they can wield weapons. You're so, you're so right. <laughs> I just it went way over my head. I apologize. But I feel like a turtle really could wield weapon if it put its mind to it. Okay. Let's go home. Oh, I totally forgot to actually like empty out my fish ponds and stuff too. In year one, people are hiding in the saloon and Demetrius is wearing a hazmat suit? Oh my gosh. I mean, honestly, I would be too if I saw Green Rain on an oyster. I might have one of those kicking around. Am I going to be using change bait? Do you mean challenge bait? If so, challenge bait doesn't, doesn't benefit us. I will be using the bait that's like targeted to specific fish. And I'll be using a uh, deluxe bait as well in lieu, in lieu of that if I don't have the bait for them. But all other bait, well, I'll also be using magic bait too, but because you kind of have to. Okay. But otherwise, I think we don't need any, any bait beyond that. Okay. I guess I could just combine get an iridium another iridium band do i have like the the void essence and the solar essence to make that happen i do i could make an iridium band to combine with one of my lucky rings and then what else would i combine with the other with the second lucky ring you know maybe i could do like maybe i will try the hot java ring just for kicks why not do this 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 i don't use a workbench workbench never have never probably never will ought to be honest with you or maybe when I do finally, like, decide to try out a workbench, then I'll never go back. That's also a possibility. Have any plans for the day? I'm going to go to an ancient forge at the top of a volcano. What about you? Alright, grab me the hot java ring, please. And let's go get forging. I'm going to need my cinder shards as well. Easy. And let's head out to the island. Did rain clouds cover the eclipse? I would feel so bad if, if like the eclipse was ruined for anybody by like just random clouds. That's just so disappointing. Oh, I know it happens, obviously. It probably happened to some people today, but it still just doesn't make it any less tragic. At least we now live in like an era where you can like see the eclipse from anywhere thanks to the wonder of live streaming. It was raining for you. <laughs> that was you. Literally all you saw was clouds. Yep. Isn't there that one guy from like the fit the 1700s or like 1600s or something who like sailed all the way to India? and lived there for like 10 years building an observatory to see the solar eclipse. And then when the, when the day finally came after all the work he had done, it was like raining or cloudy the, the day of. I mean, I, I laugh because it's just cosmically ironic, ironic, but that poor guy. I think he moved there just specifically to see the solar eclipse. <laughs> yeah, he like built a whole observatory for it just for this one specific thing. I don't even, I don't, maybe it wasn't for an eclipse. Maybe it was for like the transit of Venus or something. I don't know. It was for some kind of big event like that. 
All right. Let's combine some rings, shall we? One lucky ring, and for those who weren't who were asking, yeah, there that there you go. Can't combine it with another lucky ring. But we can make a lucky hot java ring and a lucky iridium band. Easy. All right. Put both of these on. Just for kicks. And I think we're good. I don't think we need to... Well, let's go check the uh, the island farm, actually. I don't know if my star fruit is just about ready or not. Mmm, banana coffee. <laughs> I'll take the banana. Hold the coffee, please. The darkness was still incredibly cool, I bet. Oh, this is not where I meant to be. Or where I meant to go, rather. I want to go to the farm. Is there a hot bedrock ring? Is that a Minecraft joke? Why do I? That is a deep cut Minecraft joke, even. I love it. <laughs> um, oh, we do have access to these ancient fruit here. Don't mind if I do. I mean, these ancient, these ancient seeds are really not going to be that beneficial to me at the end of the day, because we're going to get all the experience we need just from the star fruit stuff, but in principle, I'll still keep going for it. Okay, I think we're good here now. Those are some mighty strong parrots. They've had years of practice. Leo has trained them well. Why am I growing ancient fruit and star fruit? Not for money, although the money doesn't hurt. It did allow us to buy a new turtle friend, but it's for mastery experience. Because we need one final level of mastery, which we're closing in on pretty soon here. If our Once our star fruit is all ready, that should be enough. Or we could just get it via the fish ponds, to be honest with you. Forgot that existed. Mastery is probably one of the biggest changes to the, or at least some of the mastery rewards are some of the biggest, most impactful changes for the for the challenge here. The advanced iridium rod in particular is pretty is pretty big, but there are some other things as well. Case in point, frog. All right. What does Fishing Mastery do? It allow, it unlocks the Advanced Iridium Rod, which let which lets you put two tackles on your rod. Um, so you can we can have like double dress spinners or like dress spinner curiosity lure or any other number of like interesting combinations. It allows you to craft challenge bait, and it lets you fish up gold and treasure chests. But really, only the uh, the Advanced Iridium Rod is the only thing that's of interest to me. Yeah, I feel like there's no debate that that farming mastery with the Iridium Scythe and the Golden Animal Crackers and um, I, I forget what else. You, oh, the Statue of Blessings. Like, all of the rewards from, from farming mastery are like top tier rewards. It's so good. I don't think anyone's debating that that's probably like the best one that there is. Two trap bobbers. Those fish won't know what hit them. Exactly. You got it exactly right. You could do tr two trap bobbers, two cork bobbers. Yo, he's vibing. Not even, not even drinking from the water bowl, just drinking from the ocean. Respect. Careful, though, that is salt water. Mochi looks like the white cat from the Aristocats. <laughs> Wait, she does. Wait, you're so right. I never even put that together. But that's absolutely the exact kind of cat that she looks like. Um, do I have an oyster kicking around? I do. My little super cucumber. Oh, that's, uh... What does it say? Your oyster doesn't want to live in a largemouth bass pond. Like, come on now, man. This is ichthyology 101. Jeez Louise. Thank you, this oyster will keep us healthy. <laughs> that poor oyster, man. Oh, no. Marie with the pink bow. It's such a good color combination, the pink and the white. I love that. 
What does the sign say? Well, I was trying to use a text sign to for, to, for like this fish pond to see if it would actually work or not. It didn't, so I just made it work myself. There are three super cucumbers in here. I have to update it manually, but <laughs> it gets it gets the job done. This is a living hat moment right here. Yo, there was another frog right there. Multi frog friends. All right. Oh, there's also some moss kicking around here. I always forget that these trees have moss too. Actually, a pretty good haul of moss, to be honest with you. It's no green rain quantities, but we are over 100 moss now, so we're well on our way to that statue. All right. Egg festival time. Just knock it out, just for fun. Well, my frog- My frog is with me during the egg festival! Oh, I didn't even know if that- Oh, Mallow, you're here through thick and thin and everything, huh? <laughs> All right, anything worth buying here? Nothing of too much interest. I gotta get some practice in here, though, because I think this year is gonna be, um, like a different layout for- Yeah, it is a different- I can already tell it's, like, a different layout for the Egg Festival. It's, like, people are just standing in different spots. I was going to eat some eggs, but then I remembered I'm on a spring diet. Hey, don't worry, it's your birthday tomorrow. We can- we can break the diet then, just for one day, you know? How do you get a frog like Mallow? You need to get Combat Mastery, and then get yourself a uh, frog trinket that you can equip here, because that's the only way you can get trinkets. Frog egg at the egg festival, it's too perfect, right? Have you ever hunted for slime eggs? Now there's a true challenge. Maybe at the, de maybe at the desert festival we'll have the chance to do so. Yeah, and trinkets are monster drops, I should have clarified that too. All right, let's do it. Let's do. Let's go hunt some eggs, shall we? Let's do it. Yo, what if Mallow could grab eggs during the egg festival in his in his mouth? <laughs> that would be so clutch. Why is Combat Mastery relevant for the challenge? Because I wanted a frog companion for moral support. That's literally it. It does not have a mechanical advantage, it is merely a moral advantage. I'm kind of just going off whims here, by the way. I don't know... I can't reach that, can I? No. I don't know the actual, like, like a good route for this new Egg Festival layout. Some of the eggs have been moved around. Quite a few of them have been moved around, actually. Some of them are still in similar spots. Similar enough that I can... I should still be able to win relatively easily, but... Oh, I see an egg there. No egg in the back of Mayor Lewis's truck anymore. There's one in his backyard, but... Maru is, is stuck next to the house. <laughs> Eight eggs? Is eight eggs enough? Well, we're gonna get nine just to be safe. Oh, there's a tenth one right there. We have a parrot trinket and Leo sees that, he'll run over with a little exclamation mark. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love these little companions. One of the best additions. Yeah, we got it. Not bad. Nine eggs? Get me a prize ticket. I forgot that that's the new reward for this. We take those. One step closer to to a magic rock candy, in theory. Alright. Off to bed. I don't know where Tip Tup is, but... That's okay. You wonder if Sebastian reacts to the frog. I don't know if he reacts to the frog, like, out and about. But you can give him a frog egg, and he and he does love that, so. So keep that in mind, if you get any spare frog eggs.
You're giving me? You got up early and baked something sweet for me on your birthday, Haley? Oh, come on. You didn't need to do that. Do I have any, like, good gifts kicking around for you? It is, it's your birthday. Like, come on. Let me see. What do I have here? Surely I have some nice gifts for Haley. Somewhere. She's not going to like anything in the fishing chest, probably. I could give her, like, a diamond or something like that. I don't think I have any sunflowers, actually. Pink cake in the chest on the porch. No pink cake. We do have a coconut, though. We do have a coconut. Little iridium-quality coconut. Only the best for the best of girls. Best of wives, best of women. You got this for me? Wow, Chloe, this is the best birthday gift ever. I'm glad you like it. Should give her a prismatic shard. Aw, oh, shucks. I don't have any prismatic shards to give, it turns out. Maybe next year. Tomorrow begins a three-day festival in Calico Desert. That's going to be a big one. We could get some magic rock candy, prismatic shards. I should get geared up for Skull Cavern dives. Starting tomorrow, so... Um, well, first, let's go do our due diligence with these pawns. Then I will head down to the traveling cart. We'll head over to visit Willie as well. Make sure he doesn't have any bait that he's holding out on me with. Need that stonefish bait still, and then we'll go from there. Pet the pets? I think I pet all the pets already. Thank you for looking out, though. Winter music is playing. It's just a stream playlist. It, go it cycles through a lot of different ones. What does the Calico, Calico Desert Festival do? There is... That is a loaded question. There is so much you can do with the Desert Festival. It's kind of... It's kind of nuts. It's one of those things you really just have to experience to know. All I know is I can't get... Can't wait to get my Freg Cactus. Periwinkle, Sunfish... Strawberries. Kind of interesting, but... Nothing else too noteworthy to speak of here. Uh, I was thinking of doing, like, some some moss searching. Eh, it's probably fine. I, I searched for moss not too long ago. There's probably not that much new moss around here. Little blue frog is schmoovin'. It is great that he goes at the same speed as me. Otherwise, he'd be left in, left in the dust pretty quick. Oh, this is the prize machine cutscene. We we already we already know a thing or two about a thing or two with this prize machine. Don't you worry about me, Lewis. Ooh, some mystery boxes, some an apricot sapling or something like that. Yeah, that's what everyone's saying is that I can just get a whole bunch of moss on a green rain day, so I shouldn't have to worry about that because I will. I will 100% get a green rain day before I do attempts in the winter. Because I think you're guaranteed one in the summer, right? We need to do... I, I do need at some point to set up another crab pot for a clam. Don't let me forget about that. Not today, but... As, as long as I do at some point before I start doing attempts. Yeah, will will I? Right now, I'm preparing. Uh, right, the main things I'm preparing right now, I want to get like some magic rock candy because the luck buff combined with the speed buff on that is is going to make it for the best food for us for attempts, at least as as far as like when we're fishing for um for jelly because the the luck is going to be huge. So that's one big thing I'm looking for, is to get some magic rock candy on my side. And then I also need to finish getting all the targeted fishing bait. I need to get fishing mastery still, which we're very close on. 
But beyond that, I will I will probably want to craft more dressed spinners as well. That's super easy though. It's like only like iron bars and cloth. So we should be totally fine on that front. But we will be going through them faster than usual just because of um, the fact that we're using like two two every single time. Ooh, starfruit wine's all done. Is mastery different in the update? I mean, mastery didn't exist before 1.6. So much colorful bait. It's so nice, right? <laughs> we'll have it just waiting in chests around the valley. Oh, it's gonna be so satisfying. It's gonna be a lot of a lot of inventory management when we actually get down to brass tacks and start doing attempts, but it'll be it'll be worth it in the long run. It's gonna save us a lot of time. Alright, sell that starfruit wine. Actually, I might have some wine going in the cellar. I'm pretty sure I did at some point. I do still have some wine going here. Not ready yet. Okay. Let's get geared up for Skull Caverns tomorrow. What do I need and what don't I need? I don't need the Iridium Scythe. I do need the pickaxe. Don't need the axe. Don't need the hoe. I'm going to keep the watering can on me just so I can water my pets tomorrow. Water my pet bowls. That's about it. Um, Iridium Pan. Don't need. Horse Flute. I like to keep the horse flute and the return scepter on me pretty much at all times, just just to have them for utility's sake. Uh, the cheese should stay, the spicy eel, the triple shot. I'm going to need explosive ammo and stuff. Let's see, I've got bombs here. I want bombs for sure. Actually, hold on, I'll sort this out in a second. Gotta grab... Where's my slingshot kicking around? Was my slingshot in here? Yeah, it is. Okay. I, was, I just missed it earlier. Alright. Do that. Do that. Oh, staircases? Staircases is a good shout. I feel like I always forget staircases when I go in. So let's see. Do I... I don't know if I have any just, like, hanging out. I don't see any here. I don't see any here. See any here. I do have 24 jades. Is sun Sunday is the day you trade for staircases, right? So I can actually trade these jades for staircases. I could craft some with the stone as well, so. What rings do I have on? Right now I have um I have Iridium Band plus Lucky Ring and Lucky Ring plus <laughs> plus um hot Java ring. Kinda, I think I want to keep the hot java ring just so I can get more coffee because I'm starting to run low in triple shot. But I might swap out the other one. I might swap out... Um, let's see. We might go, instead of the other lucky ring one, I might go Iridium Band plus Burglar Ring. Is that the one I have here? Yeah, let's go with that. That works fine for me here. Have we named the frog? Our frog is Mallow. Mallow of the Marsh variety. Okay. We got that. We got that. I could do with a little more explosive ammo. I think I need... I need to smelt more iron in order to actually get that, don't I? Let me just double check what I actually need for explosive ammo. I'm pretty sure you need iron bars. Iron bars and coal, yeah. Be, wouldn't be a bad idea to get some heavy furnaces, I guess, if I get the mining mastery at some point. Um, that's fine for now. Okay, hold on to that. Let's go trade for some staircases. Pam, take me away, please. 
Have I gotten Meow Mir yet? I have, yeah. It was one of the first things I did in, like, I think it was, like, my second 1.6 stream. I was made aware of Meow Mir, and I was like, I need to experience this. It was so good. Okay. Trade my staircases in. Easy enough. Get Haley some coconuts. We have a decent amount of coconuts at home already. I don't see any more kicking around here anyway. Grab a cactus fruit for old time's sake. Why not? Eat it to assert dominance. I was surprised not to get an Iridium one there, but then I remembered I swapped out for the Tracker Profession, so I don't have Botanist anymore. You can combine the Galaxy Sword and Meow Mir to make the Galaxy Sword look like Meow Mir. You can actually do that with any weapon. As long as they're a weapon of the same type, you can make, like, any sword look like any other sword. Or any dagger like any other dagger, or any hammer like any other hammer. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty hype. And Meow Mir is no exception, which is very fun. Because it is it is probably, like, <laughs> like, the most aesthetic sword in the game at this point. Being able to make, like, your Infinity Blade look like it is kind of... It's kind of such... It's just like a nice flex. So I think all we're waiting on right now is some iron bars to smelt so I can craft more explosive ammo. Perfect timing. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. And it sparkles. It does sparkle with each kill. That should not be overlooked. All right. I'm going to use all of this iron to craft explosive ammo. 220 explosive ammo. I think that's pretty good. The Final Fantasy VII Rebirth over the weekend. I've heard that's like that's the remastered Final Fantasy VII, right? I've heard that was pretty hype. Never played the original or the remaster though. I'm happy for you though. That's quite a commitment, I imagine. All right. Are we set up for Skull Cavern? I should grab a Desert Warp Totem to get to the desert nice and quick tomorrow. I have 23 of them on hand, so I think I'll be fine. All right, last call. Are we good for the Desert Festival? I need to, I'll need to water my pets tomorrow, so that's why I have the watering can. Otherwise, I think we're all set. Do I want slash have my lucky ring lucky rings? I have the lucky and hot java ring, and then I have iridium band plus burglar ring. I think that's a pretty solid setup. Let's do it. Not bad. Making some of that money back that we spent on tip top. Money well spent, but we <laughs> I wouldn't mind building back up again. Okay. Let's go ahead and eat a spicy eel. Drink a triple shot. Grab a snack from the cook guy at the festival. Does he allow you to get a snack from him, like, immediately? Or do you have to wait until, like, the proper festivities start? Oh, baby! Speaking of the festivities starting, Kazoom, you couldn't have come along at a better time. I need to get I need to get to Skull Skull Cavern pronto with this at my back. <laughs> get some homies in chat, some Kazumi homies. Perfect, perfect timing. All right, let's go. Okay. So I think we basically. Yeah, he's like already here. He's got his fingers going and everything. Why, hello there, hungry? Starving, absolutely starving. Cause I think we're just gonna go to Skull Cavern like right away, right? I have heard, let's see. Maybe a very special dish, yes please. I have heard the meta combo for this is rare fruit and uncomfortably hot sauce. That gives you like plus three luck and plus one speed, I think. 
That is some uncomfortably hot looking sauce. Rumpled fruit skin. I hate it, thanks. Fantastic. So that gave us, yeah, it gave us plus one speed and plus three luck for seven minutes. That's pretty big. Um, we talked to you to get a quest, right? Complete one, okay, yeah. So let's select a quest. Whoops. Okay. Descend into Skull Cavern and slay ten mummies. That should that would be easy enough. Or collect twelve Omni Geodes. Both of those should be quite doable. And they're both worth similar amounts of calico eggs. I think we go for the. I think we go for Omni Geodes. Or eh, yeah, we'll go Omni Geodes. So I'll probably just collect the Omni Geodes passively, whereas I would have to kind of go out of my way for, um, for the mummies. Calico eggs and mysterious calico statues have appeared throughout the caverns. Your egg rating determines the likelihood of finding calico eggs. Egg rating increases every five levels down, as well as whenever you activate a calico statue. Calico statue will also invoke strange and dangerous effects. Visit Gil to receive prizes for achieving a high egg rating. We want to get very high egg rating if we can. We'll see. With Kazuma at my back, I feel like we, we might be able to make some magic happen here, though. I don't know what our daily luck is like, actually. I don't- I, di I didn't look at the daily luck or anything, so we'll see. We do have, uh, have Mallow helping us out a little bit here, though. That's one Omni Geode already. Keep good count of them. I might not be looking at chat too much, by the way, just because I'm gonna be focused on on sculling and caverning. Hopefully you can forgive this. What do we got here? Speed boost? Don't mind if I do. All right, I don't know how long that's gonna last, but <laughs> I appreciate it. Bro, I'm zooming. I look how fast I am. I got like plus four speed. Holy. We are flying. I don't, ha I don't have my, uh, I don't have my slime charmer ring, so I can I should be avoiding slimes, too. Putting the zoom in Kazoom, absolutely true. Get me out of there, dude. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, perfect, perfect. Between the speed and this luck, nothing's getting in my way. Fall four levels. Um, can I just break this in- break that in two hits? Okay, good to know. Good to know. Kazoom into Emily Dance is kind of, like, really blessed. Am I gonna collect the calico eggs? I'm, I'm collecting any calico eggs that I happen to see. Ooh. Three levels, not bad. More Omni Geodes. Okay, drop one right there. Drop it like it's hot. I see. I've reached a new level of understanding. That's mastery right there. Let's go. All right, grab the Calico Eggs. Well, four more levels. My Calico rating is now, or my Egg rating is six. I think if we get up to 55 Egg rating, then we're, then we get like the max tier reward. This is a sad little floor. <laughs> well, maybe not that sad, though. Fell six more levels. We take those. Give me some of that. Thank you. More calico eggs for me. Oh, I, oh, he ate the mummy. I didn't even realize. <laughs> Uh, okay, snap them. Drop one of those. The Desert Festival is open, by the way. <laughs> In case anyone wanted to go. Desert Festival is open. Meanwhile, I'm 30, 30 meters beneath the earth already. Don't talk to me. I'm spelunking right now. Got ourselves a lot of eggs. A lot of eggs. Why is the frog getting fat? Whenever he eats a monster, he, uh, he becomes a little chubby for a second. 
while he while he digests as frogs are wont to do. Okay, I really need to find a staircase. Oh, or even better, even better. I, all right, I need to eat some cheese as well. Next floor, five levels. Take those. We are at nine egg rating. Making good headway here. Don't fat shame Mallow. I'm not definitely not fat shaming. I've also I've also gotten a little chubby at times when I'm when I'm digesting. So <laughs> so no shame whatsoever. It's just, it's just physics, baby. Okay, thank you. Ooh. Auto petter, auto petter on the day of the on the on this the day of the desert festival. Thank you so much. Always good to check for a, a shaft or something on on a treasure room. Full refresh. Ooh, you shouldn't have. Literally, you shouldn't have because I think I was already at full health and everything. Thank you. That was a probably the best place bomb I've ever had. 13 levels! Holy! And we got a statue? Oh my gosh, what is happening? <laughs> what is happening, dude? We got a statue? Give me another speed buff. More serpents! Thanks! Alright, I really appreciate that. Really could have done without that, to be honest with you. But... <laughs> but how many more serpents are we talking, though? How many more serpents are we talking? So far, it's zero, which is fine by me. More eggs. Oh, I see you. I gotta get through there. Okay, just get down, and then we'll eat some food after. Yo, this festival definitely does breathe, breathe a little bit of new life into these, uh into these dingy old caverns, I must say. I'm having an even I'm having an even better time with Skull Cavern than I than I normally do. Yo, thank you. Monster Compendium, we take that. A second auto petter? Don't talk to me about lucky days in Skull Cavern. Bruh. <laughs> I don't understand why people have such a hard time finding finding auto petters. They seem to just they seem to just appear. They're just in, in basically every chest that you find. I don't know. I don't see what the problem is here. Ooh, you got a statue. Full refresh. Thank you. Did I get a staircase. I got a hole. Even better. Even better. How's our food looking? Rumpled fruit skin is fine. Magical shoes from the calico statue is wearing off. I need. Oh, I need my triple shot back on. I didn't realize I was without it. To be honest with you. All right, triple shot up. I'm also gonna spicy eel up just so I stay ahead of it. Okay, what do we got? Golden animal cracker, my first one. Yo, big, that's big. I don't know what I'm even gonna use that on first. What fish pond, but rest assured it will be used. Animal cracker, for those not in the know, it doubles the produce from a... Uh, from a from an animal on your on your farm, which includes fish and fish ponds, which is kind of hype. That is a lot of iridium bats. Excuse me. Hold on, I need Mallow. I need Mallow to help me with this one. Actually, I'm gonna staircase out of this one to be honest with you. See it chumps. What is that? I just got a magic quiver, by the way. That's pretty hype. Magic quiver. Shoot a magic arrow at nearby enemies every 1.1 seconds, dealing 20 to 25 damage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick. You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll swap out Mallow for a second here, just to see how we feel about this situation. Ooh. Kind of like how it feels. I'm not gonna lie. I like the sound that it makes. I have completed. I've completed my Omni Geo quest. I think that's what that was. Uh, staircase through here. It's kind of hype, honestly, yeah. I'm gonna switch back to Mallow for right now. I feel like that could be even better if we forge it into something, like, really good. You 
beautiful. Jump on down. Five more levels. We're making pretty solid headway here. Oh, I should... I thought my... Uh, my inventory's full. All right, fair enough. Ten calico eggs. You shouldn't have. Thank you. Seed maker. Not necessary. I guess I'll... I guess I'll take it over the white algae, I suppose. Fine. Can you combine trinkets? Unfortunately not. That would be pretty cool. But... Did I say a bad word? Did I say a bad word? I don't remember saying a bad word. Maybe I got lost in the sauce, though. I didn't do it on purpose, I swear. Oh, more calico eggs for me. Get out of my way. Go to with the Skull Cavern sauce. We're making pretty, like I said, we're making pretty good headway here. I don't know if we're going to quite hit the, uh... Uh oh, don't die. I don't know if we're gonna quite hit the the 55 egg rating, but we're we're getting we're getting up there for darn sure. Okay, I kind of wanna just staircase out of this one to be honest with you. Excuse excuse me, thank you. All right, perfect. Good call. Good call. Auto grabber, sure. Why not? Take it over the sap, I suppose. Okay. Um. I had the wrong tool selected. I'm just looking for holes. Always good to look on us on treasure room. Oh boy! All right, uh, eat up. I'm all chuffed up. Okay, get down there. Ooh, I would love to hit that statue if I could. Well, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Mallow, for saving the day on that one. Full refresh, perfect, perfect. This Mario Mario Odyssey City music? Nah, this is uh I believe this is from Chikori. I think this is like Luncheon Town in Chikori or something like that. Ooh, that's floor one that's our floor one hundred chest. Monsters do less damage. But how much less damage though? Dark cowboy hat for the road? I'll take it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, there was a statue over there. I missed it. It's okay. Didn't know cheese was this good. If you can get some gold gold quality cheese on your side, it's absolutely some of the best food you can have. Or at least some of like the best like easy food you can have. Okay, how are we looking as far as buffs go here? Triple shots running low. Spicy eels fine. Um we are out of our rumpled fruit skin. Which is a very cursed sentence. <laughs> but it is the truth. Oh. Alright, let's go get the statue real quick. More monsters. Fantastic. Just just what I always wanted. More monsters. You know what more monsters means is more monster drops though, so. Honestly, Napalm Ring would kind of go hard right now. Lucky little rabbit's foot right there. Um, sure, take it over the Aquamarine, I suppose. Oh, need another statue here. No effect! My favorite! <laughs> what the heck, man? You, they, they could just do that? They could just be like, yeah, it's just a statue, bro. Get owned. Lol, get trolled. You thought you were gonna get something fun out of that. It's just, it's no effect, man. It's no effect, man. Oh, great. Oh, jeez, we got back to back. Best statue in the game right there, holy. All right, I need some, I need some, some triple shot espresso here. Six ten p.m. We're making pretty. We're doing, ooh, Prizzy! Yo, let's go. I forgot I was even looking for these things. Um, take it over the two slime, I suppose. Oh, I see the staircase up there as well. This is just a great day all around. And we got ourselves a strange doll if we want it. 
Do I want a strange doll? I kind of do. I'm not going to lie to you. He's just kind of like sitting there vibing. Okay. What do you got for me? Eight more levels. Take it. Calico statue. Ten calico eggs you shouldn't have. Um, <laughs> that's a lot of iridium bats. No word of a lie. Okay, staircase out of here, I think. Stair staircase? Stair my staircase? Thank you so much. Oh, gosh. Okay, that was a little, little close for comfort on that one. Okay, I think my... We're still doing all right here. They were saying more monsters. They weren't kidding, huh? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Another prismatic shard. Killing it with those. Oh, I see the staircase there. Sneak on by. Thank you, Mallow. Literally might be, like, the best Skull Caverns run I've ever done. Barring, like, you know, staircases to get really deep or something like that. Six levels. I'm feeling pretty good about this run right now. I think, I mean, obviously the boost from the, uh, from, like, the, the rumpled fruit skin definitely helped out quite a bit. But I'm still feeling like, like, luck is pretty heavily on our side so far. <laughs> okay, take those. Honestly, don't even go, don't even worry about the eggs. Quality sprinklers. Um, not really worth my time, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's fine. Make this make this run count. Give it everything you got, and then some. And just don't die, honestly. <laughs> if I died now, I'd be so sad. Okay, just get this guy out of here. Perfect. Oh, you ate the mummy even better. Another prismatic shard and a calico statue. What do you got? No effect, my favorite. Honestly, that is my favorite because I don't want any unfair advantages here. I don't want anyone to say that, oh, you only got so deep in Skull Cavern because of because of your statue luck. I'm going to be like, no, bro. I got three no-effect statues. Why don't you show me your most recent run where you got, you know, like, like three speed buffs in a row. You were going seven times the speed of sound. I don't, I'm, just, I'm just arguing with a straw man at this point. All right, I need spicy eel here. Anything we need to do before it gets too late? That's a good question. I should be paying attention to what's available at the Desert Festival other than, uh, other than this stuff. Like, is there anything I need to do at the Desert Festival specifically other than just get really deep in Skull Caverns and get a lot of Calico eggs? I don't know. Sometimes you have to build a straw man just to feel alive. Truer words were never spoken. Bro, I don't even know how many calico eggs. 309 calico eggs? I was looking for, like, a counter somewhere on the screen. But then, but then I realized they're actually just in my inventory. I need to cash out calico eggs with Gil every day. Okay, so we need to get... Is, is Do you think we stop at 40 calico rating, or do we try to go for, like, 45? We're not going to get to 55. Do you think do you think we call it here and try and go up and and do some stuff? Should be fine leaving at 1 a.m. Go one more floor to get 41. That's true. That is true. Gil stays till 150. Okay, so if we if we're only worried about cashing out with Gil, then we don't need to worry about leaving anytime soon. 40 versus 45 doesn't make a difference. All right, we're going for 55 then. Never tell me the odds. I just have to make it what 55 would be like 
It's it's it's, it's a few more floors. Uh, this feels like a staircase kind of situation. Not a double staircase. Don't put down double staircases when one staircase will do. Oh, I see a staircase over there. Maybe we get a... A pit out of this, though? No. Okay, we're at 43. There goes 99 stone. Stone well spent. I need to drink my triple shot. Oh, I see a calico statue over there. Oh, do one of those. Perfect. Lose more eggs when you're knocked out? Is that what that said? <laughs> That's so mean. Why would you do- why would you say that to me? Why would you prophesize the fact that I'm gonna be knocked out and that I will, in fact, lose more eggs? I'm gonna lose zero eggs because I won't get knocked out. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that, you sussy statue? 150, 150 floors deep. And we're still going. We're going deep. Holy moly, that's a lot of serpents, though. Okay, um, staircase out of here. Staircase, please. Thank you. Staircase out of this one. There's not enough rocks around. We're about ready to tap out here, honestly. Full refresh, pog, plus one. One fifty four. Get me one more. I want I just want to get one more one more floor here. That's a lot of eggs, holy. Alright. 155 floors, 47 egg rating. I think I'm willing I'm gonna make my peace with that right there. Get me out of here. Still got lots lots of people hanging about. People hang out until the till the wee hours. Very good. There will be more challenges tomorrow, so take it easy and get some rest. Thank you. Submit today's highest egg rating to Gil. Absolutely. What's he gonna say for 47? That's gotta be pretty good, right? 47? Well, I'll be. We've got a real calico egg hunter here. I got 200 calico eggs, bro. I have 600 calico eggs to my name and Gil's hat. <laughs> this is the best day ever. Oh my goodness. Check that garbage on the right. Oh, this can give you calico eggs, right? Heck yeah. 605 beautiful calico eggs. I'm going to read this monster compendium. A little extra experience. Gave, you, gave me his very own hat. He's still wearing his hat, so we're fine there. Alright, I can trade Calico Eggs here. I can get myself... There's no, no like, magic rock candy or anything in here. I think, th I think this stuff changes around every day, right? The Dark Velvet Bow. Dark Velvet Bow is really cool. Cart? Oh, we should check the cart. We could actually get some, like, good fish and stuff out of that. Did unnamed blue frog number one get a name yet? It, um, the fro our frog's name is Mallow now. Mallow of the marsh variety. I could get some mystery boxes. And keep the eggs. Yeah, I think you can keep eggs between days, right? Okay. Don't need any of that. You cannot keep eggs. Eggs stay until event ends. Oh, okay, I was gonna say. I was gonna say, that would be crazy if you couldn't keep them between days. But you, you can keep them between days, but you can't keep them after the festival. That makes sense. Okay. That's fine. Um, So I think we... There's nothing here that's specifically speaking to me. I mean, the Dark Velvet Bow is kinda... 
is it does kind of make me feel a certain kind of way. Maybe we go with that. Maybe we buy one of those. Mummy mask, mystery boxes. I'm gonna go with one of those. Just bought a bunch of mystery boxes. The mystery boxes could be pretty handy. Gotta get that fashion. That swag fashion. She's looking so fresh and so clean. Okay. People are, people are leaving. Oh, I didn't get to buy from anyone from any of these stalls. No! Yeah, I missed the villager shops. That's okay. There is some good stuff you can get from those, but... Probably buy more bombs if I can. What do you trade for bombs and stuff at the Desert Trader? Mega bombs for Iridium Ore. How much Iridium Ore do I even have? Where is my Iridium Ore? 110? I'll trade that for some Mega Bombs for sure. Okay. If Haley's in the stall, I can buy her weapon. I don't know if she was today. Oh no, I should have checked in. Should have checked in when I had the chance. Alright, we'll hold off for right now. We're gonna have to make our way home. I did not find a workaround for the fishing tutorial, unfortunately, not yet. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist, but I have not uh, been able to suss one out just yet. Alright, I think we take our well-earned Skull Cavern victory here and head home. It's 1.10 a.m. Yeah, let's, let's get out of here. Pretty good haul. I mean, the the three prismatic shards on its own is pretty is pretty huge. What was the luck like today? Even spirits are in good humor today, so it was go it was gold pyramid luck day. So that definitely definitely makes a difference. Dark velvet bow, Gil's hat, dark cowboy hat. You can't put trinkets in the in the chest, even though they're like a wearable item or in the dresser. They are a wearable item, but it's all right. Gold animal cracker cracker. Oh, that made me feel alive, man. <laughs> that was that was good. All right, lock in the first day of the desert festival right there. Beautiful. You know, what we also did we also unlocked uh, mastery, right? I didn't even think about that, but yeah, we got. Oh my gosh, we <laughs> boy did we ever get mastery. We kind of kind of shot the moon on that one. Holy jeez. All right. Um, gonna check the luck real quick, but I think I'm gonna end the stream right at, right about now. I think we'll come back and do the rest of the Desert Festival next time, which might be... I might be back tomorrow, undecided right now. Uh, there will be at least one one more stream before I leave on my, like, on my travels. I'm gonna be traveling on, uh, like, starting Friday, so I'll be gone for a couple weeks after that, but... What's the fishing info on TV? That's the Fibs channel, the fishing information broadcast service. I think you unlock this by completing Pam's like special request board for like potato juice, and it just gives you information about when fish are like what what fish are available when during the season. So it's pretty cool. Either way, thank you all for joining me on this leg of our master angler preparatory journey. Lots of good progress was made today. And I look forward to seeing what other progress we can make next stream. We are we are getting pretty pretty well geared up. I don't know when we're gonna actually start doing proper attempts, but we've got a lot of the gear that we need. We really just need like more more magic rock candy and bait and stuff, and then we're we'll be sitting pretty. Could take a little while to get there, but I'm excited for it. We do need the statue of blessings and stuff too. There's a few things. There's a few things, but Either way, I digress. I'm going to let you go for now. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Be good to one another. Be good to yourselves. And as always, this is Argon Matrix signing on out. Thank you and good night, everybody. Bye-bye.